What's cracking, you fucking bush leaguers, and welcome back to Sunday League the Podcast. This is episode 201. 201. 201. That's a good era. era. New era. ERA, yeah. right? Word play. Baseball. That'd be a, that would be a nice ERA. Baseball letter play. DH. What's up, dog? What's up, man? How are you? Chilling. Chilling in my Chilling, humble man. abode. Your humble abode. What are we drinking in your humble abode today? Feels his choice, my friend. I got a little tequila in my cup with a little splash mm-hmm. of orange something. Nice, nice. Uh, all right. You, my friend? I unfortunately, I pounded like 10 beers earlier. Hmm. Um, off mic, it was less. But on the mic, I drank a lot more um, <laughs> as advertised. But uh, I'm drinking just a cold brew from Starbucks, bro. That's it, huh? It's, it's, uh, it's, it's not too late. Felt like shit driving over here. I wanted to fall asleep. Mm. The wife uh, was kind enough to use her uh, her Starbucks points and get me a a nice little tall boy. It's a uh, that's the Trenta with ten pumps of classic. Give me all God the pumps damn. of classic, all the caffeine, and all the sugar. That shit is blacker than your soul. Yes, yes, it is. I have a dark soul, bro. You should see the shit that I say <laughs> in private. <laughs> is that you is know that, I say fucked up shit? <laughs> is that is that just straight? Just straight black coffee. Straight black coffee. Blah, blah, blah. Straight, straight black coffee. Black black coffee. This is a BBC. Big black coffee. <laughs> Some sugar. <laughs> and rightfully so. It goes right in your mouth. <sighs> Gotta love that BBC. Yeah, man. Way I, to represent for the culture, Boski. You don't drink alcohol. <laughs> for the fucking culture, bro. No, I don't drink alcohol. It's not about partying and drinking here, I just, Boski. I just want to play baseball with my friends that's and not, build lasting relationships for a lifetime. That's not what we're about, Boski. <laughs> We're no, not we're about not. just drinking, no, having a not. great time. No, and we definitely don't post it on Instagram. Mm-mm. Never, ever, ever. Even though if we were to do it at parks only, not at schools, but only at parks, I still wouldn't make sure that it would not get posted. That's why I love big league dreams. <laughs> I absolutely love big league dreams. Yeah. Even one, if it's one, just softball. because you, lo- you love softball. You're like horny for softball. I wouldn't go that far. You're I'm sh- not going that far. Dog, you're so fun. No. Dog, no, 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 no. You're I'm not only, going that far. You were like, I'm going to bat a thousand. <laughs> and then you did it. And you even walked it back. You didn't walk it back. You walked it forward even more. You're like, no, nah, next, next season, season <laughs> I'm hitting a thousand. <laughs> Like, nah, you're tripping. Bro. Next season, I'm batting 1.5. <laughs> I'm going to go 20 for 10. I'm going to bat. No, wait, that doesn't work out. I'm going 15 for 10 oh, next fuck. season. That's fucking funny, dude. Um, but yeah, so- softball. Nah, I still can't hit a softball. Hey, man. Hey, well, with that attitude, you can't. You'll nah, never bro. you'll never be able to. Nah, it's just, I don't want to hit softball. I have no reason to even want to try. Like, it's just, hey, even you're f- going to have to at some point consider that because the way your body is going right now, <laughs> you are not going to last any minute longer on a Speaking baseball Speaking of, field. I got to give my stats for the day. I went 0 for 2 uh, with two walks today. Made uh, I turned it all play. It was nice. I made it nice because my shortstop, fed, he fed it really sh- shitty, real low. So I just kind of oh, like, come on, give I, your teammates some credit. Oh, fuck no, it was a shitty feed, and then I fucking <laughs> recovered, and then I threw it like Robinson Cano, bro. You know how he like throws like like from underneath. Mm-hmm. Did one of those, and I was like, yeah. And so it was cool, man. I hadn't I haven't turned the whole play in a minute. All been, right. We played a uh, played the tropics. So sex god was out there. He was in his goats uniform. Oh yeah, the the OG the OG tournament team slash old scavel team slash. Uh, I guess this is. I would city connect that. I would coin it a city connect. It's, yeah. it's been kind of thrown around in the super secret group chat. So the goats, the goats. Yeah, that happened today. So um, Big Daddy Loops got a good, good picture of, of like to showcase the uniform. I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah, fucking John's big cock is just hanging out in the pants. Oh, he forgot to zip up. Or what? <laughs> it's just there. <laughs> it's like John, can you wear a cup, dude? <laughs> He's like, they don't make it big enough. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh my god! I need a, me, I need a bowl. It reminds me of that one football movie that uh, uh, the, the prison, the prison yard, longest yard, Lo- uh, probably. I, I think it's seen the it. longest yard. Yeah, it's like a parody of a prison football team uh, or some bullshit. I don't know. What the it's fuck. also the name of John's dick. <laughs> the longest yard. <laughs> the 
Oh my god! <laughs> hey, how's your how's your um, how's your how's your weight check in going? Oh man, I have <laughs> <laughs> I checked out. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking. No, funny. you know I, I haven't I haven't checked in right. Honestly, oh, I haven't no. checked in yet. Why are we uh, are we being called out again for that? We got called out last week on the on episode two hundred. Oh okay. Yeah, it was live for everybody to hear, and everyone was like, "What's going on?" Like, like, yeah. hey guys, uh, we're trying to. Lose some weight here, but everybody wants to drink, and it was fun. It was fun, but yeah, yeah. No, shout out to Jonathan. He thinks we're he thinks we're like we swing the other way because we're making long cock jokes. That's totally time. fine. It's like totally bro, like, fine. we we fucking play baseball, dude. Like we swing big ass sticks. What do you expect? Like, come on, dude. <laughs> yeah. You've seen Mookie Betts play. That's as zesty as it gets. No, because he broke his fucking wrist. Uh, I what did I tell you was going to happen, dude? What did I I know that I said that shit. May have said it off mic, but I know that I said it. Maybe. I said, this guy's going to. I said, don't get too high on him because you know how he was hot early in the season? Oh, he's so hot. He was, no, he was playing well. <laughs> and uh, I was like, he's going to hurt himself playing shortstop. He didn't hurt himself playing well, shortstop. He got drilled in the wrist. Yeah, so that, maybe that doesn't have so, anything to do with playing shortstop. So the, the Nelson in me came out and I was like, ha, ha. Is it Nelson? It's Nelson, right? Yeah. Nelson Muntz. Yeah. That's yeah. brutal. That's brutal. As me? Don't ever laugh at a man getting injured. That's brutal. I almost got I I actually injured myself today. But you I almost did. I almost uh got that same injury on the hand. Faced Julio today. He threw a fastball up and in. Um I didn't expect it to kind of sneak in on me like that. I was like, okay, I faced this fool before, like I got him. But um no, yeah, he came came in with a fastball kind of up and in. And I kind of got out of the way and then came up with another fastball and I just flew out. Like so, for context, if anybody was listening yeah. to episode 200, yeah, yeah. you may have heard the Bob Father himself talking about, you know, who's the greatest Sunday League ball player he's ever seen. And, you know, they, we, had to, we had to tell him, you can't pick a Royal. It's because Bo- Bob hasn't watched me yet, bro. But he can't not he, pick a Royal. He, he didn't watch me in my prime, dude. Oh, stop. <laughs> stop it. Hold on, though. But it wasn't like I was bad in my prime. No, but come I, on now. I still, show, I still show shades of it, like. You could just call me the shadow, bro. Cause I'm just like, I'm just there. There's always gonna be a shadow, and I'm always gonna well. Be there. Of course, he had to he had to bring up Julio. Of course, you know mm-hmm. Julio Espinosa, and uh, you faced him today, even though you were playing the Tropics. Yeah, yeah, we played the Tropics. We're we're all kind of getting ready for a tournament. So Julio was up. a Tropic for a day. Yeah, in his um, fucking in his Royals jersey. <laughs> I was like whatever. <laughs> could, they couldn't even get him a goat's jersey. Maybe uh, I know, right? Yeah, but. Uh, <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, scrimmage, right? Scrimmage, scrimmage time, scrimmage game. Yeah, everybody that plays Sunday ball, yeah, knows we, it's scrimmage. Time. We kind of clanked the ball around a little bit today. Um, lost eight to seven, whatever you know, is and what it is. I'm gonna write a full fucking book report on it you know, on an Instagram post. And of course, Bosky left his hamstring on the field. I left my hammy on. I was trying to be a fucking. I was trying to be a hero. Um, just like a slow roller that deflected off the pitcher's glove. I had no shot. I get in this full out and I kind of like I, I run up on it to like f- like backhand flick it with the glove to first. And when I went down to reach for it, the hamstring, just the left one, it just kind of it didn't pop, but it grabbed really hard. Um, so that's a good sign. Like, I know I know I know the difference between the popping hamstring and the one that just kind of cramps mm-hmm. super yeah hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. That that's gonna last at least a couple weeks, my friend. Yeah, probably. You're gonna so be, I'm yeah, probably, you're gonna be I'm, feeling that. I might be toast for the tournament. Um, we'll see. Uh, I'm already a non-runner, so everybody yeah. that's listening that plays mm-hmm. on the daddies. Yeah, yeah, that's bad news for. Uh, mm-hmm. But it might be a good thing because bad it's gonna, news for you. It's gonna force me to sit on my backside, like even more, like so. It could be a good thing to All be right. soft on my front. We'll see. Only uh, time You're always t- soft on the front. Some buff wise guy. T- <laughs> it's a buff wise guy once said, "Time tells all." So, yeah, man. Well, that sucks, man. Getting old sucks, right? Um, yeah, bro. Getting yeah. old sucks. I'll be popping right a up. hamstring on a backhand <laughs> flip no, to first. Dog, <laughs> that was completely unnecessary. Um, uh, uh, it didn't pop. So we're clear. Pop, okay, popping, pulling, pulling a hamstring. Popping is bad. Grabbing is good. Grabbing, gra- your hamstring grabbing on you. Mm-hmm. Backhand flipping the ball to first base is not good news. I totally failed. I didn't even get the ball to first. <laughs> <laughs> I it was a bit of a belly flop, I would say. I just it was a like half embarrassing, mm. but not really because like the effort showed. But well, at least I, <laughs> from my point of view, the effort showed. I don't know how it looked on the field. I could I could hear people saying stuff, and I was like, "Hey, mm. fuck off." So, but whatever, dude. I mean, that's what you I, get for giving Mookie Betts the Nelson treatment. Mm, yeah, I'm looking. I'm gonna go home, look in the mirror, and go. 
do it to myself. Oh, too bad. Hey, man, if I could dish it out, I got to be able to take it, right? Because exactly. a lot of people can't do exactly. it. Exactly. They can't do that. They they can dish it out, and then once somebody comes right after them, blocked. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> it's like, oh, uh, why are you asking more people for, mo- or people for more money? Blocked. Mm. Yeah, dog. Yeah, Boski can take it. Trust me. I could take it, dude. <laughs> yeah. Boski can take it. I'm not taking it, but I'm I can I can handle it. <laughs> can take it. Can I can take handle it. the chirps. I can take the chirps, bro. Yeah. That's all good. I'm but not, um, I'm not too too uh worried about it. Hey, but you know, FBL season's around the corner. <laughs> Another season, so it's yeah. it's not like you're July retiring. 14th. You're not retiring, right? No, bro, I'm just getting started. There you go. No, it's, it's a new era. Pull the hamstring and he's just getting started, <laughs> it's, man. It's a new era, man. That's, like if I'm not pulling hamstrings, this ain't Sunday league, bro. It's uh, just not. <laughs> that if that doesn't say for the culture, I don't know mm-hmm. what does. I will take this my gravestone dog is gonna say, Ain't nobody more for the culture than me. Here lies a ball player. There you go. <laughs> There you go, man. Yeah, though, I, I'm gonna I'm come up with some whole mess of a whole fucking busted ass message. It's gonna be front and back of the tombstone. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, man. It's gotta be like a baseball card. You gotta have it on both sides. Yeah, dude, that would be sick if I could have like my lifetime stats. Oh, like yeah. this guy hit five bombs with wood. <laughs> nice. What? <laughs> what? It's yeah, man. How was the week, dude? Uh, we had episode 200 on episode Friday. Episode 200 was dope as fuck. If you weren't there, you fucking missed out. If you said you were going to go and you didn't show up, you fucking missed out. Oh, man, I feel bad for you. It was a good time. Because, dog, <laughs> episode 400 is in four in another four years. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> bro. You're no. kidding me. But, I mean, we don't have to go to 400. We can go to 300. <laughs> That's in two years. <laughs> <laughs> Just for some perspective because, you know, I mean, unless something yeah, happens. If we, if we keep going at the pace that we're going an episode a week, yeah, yep. it's going to take it's us another a, two years to get That's another two years, man, so... We'll see. That's worth the grind, though. We'll see. Oh, it's always worth it, dog. It's always worth it. Yeah. It's for the fucking culture, bro. And That's you know? right, man. But we don't drink here. Oh, no, no, no. No, no. <laughs> Not always. We're just drinking coffee from Starbucks with 10 pumps of classic syrup. Good old Capri Sun in my cup right here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that does look like Capri Sun. <laughs> <laughs> nice and clear and sweet. Sure sweet, does. Sweet on the tongue, you know. That sure does, man. Um, fantasy baseball, Boski. How's your fantasy Ooh, team doing? Fuck. Um, I thought I was going to squeak one out today. Um, I didn't, uh, Wyatt Langford decided to hit for the cycle. You went up against a good old Ethan Manning. That motherfucker. And uh, his uh, fantasy team is called Franco's Little Babies. <laughs> oh, that's right. Franco's Little Babies. That's such a terrible name. It is terrible. What's my, my team name though? Just so we're, so it's fair. What's okay. my team name? Uh, the Cuban Raft Riders. <laughs> <laughs> what's worse? I don't Fuck. know. I don't know what's worse. Yeah, dude, that, that's a tough one. My shit's always been CRR, like Cuban Raft Riders. Like, I like that shit. I yeah. saw, I saw, it. um. Uh, I saw it. Where the fuck did I see it? I saw it somewhere. I'm like, that's the name. That's my team name now. If nobody likes it, they can shoot me. <laughs> I mean, if I can dish it, yeah. I got to be able to take it. Yeah. And, uh, or I can block them. Well, I mean, a little bit of poetic justice as well because, you know, Boski somehow has found a way to manipulate the scoring system. How about fuck you? Baseball. How? How? Oh, you know. You know. Pitching? Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. So um, it was nice to see Wyatt Langford, you know, make sure to cre- yeah. put some distance between you and yeah, bro, you and Ethan Manning. It happens, man. I mean, like I've said, the good thing is that there's a lot better uh, fantasy players in this current season. Mm-hmm. Unlike in, compared to last season, last season was kind of like half of these guys ain't doing shit. But in this one, this current one, we're pretty, at least as far as baseball knowledge. We're all pretty, pretty solid. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. stacked. It's, I mean, it's a good stack. Yeah, for sure. John Lane is firmly on top. Mm-hmm. Also in top. fantasy baseball. And uh, and he's a top. <laughs> I mean, he would be a top, right? I would imagine. No, but yeah, he's uh, he's right there on top. Dad Bats, Lupe, is also right there, right behind right behind John. Yeah. Very uh, knowledgeable, dude. I, at first, I was like, I'm going to smoke this fool. And then, nah, dude, he's, he's solid. Yeah. He's solid. Yeah, so, that's my boy, man. I got I to gotta poke fun at him. Yeah. Oh, dog. <laughs> All right, so for whatever reason, he was playing third base today, right? And there was uh, for whatever reason, yeah. what do you mean for whatever reason, <laughs> he was playing He's probably third. dope over there. Uh, for whatever reason, he was playing third today. It's the runners on second and third, one out, ground ball to him. So the runner was pretty much even with him because we were playing up, and uh, the runner was was pretty much even with him, and he takes off to home. I'm just thinking, all right, it's probably a one out automatic. So he goes, he goes home. Lupa fields the ball. Real clean. 
He throws it home and he fucking air mails it to the <laughs> backstop. He didn't even throw hard. He just like like it, it looked like it just kind of slipped. And so I got to give him some shit. So <laughs> shout out Loops playing third. <laughs> what a boy. But in his defense, I was playing first earlier in the game and the uh, lefty hit a ground ball to me. I should have made the play, dude. I clanked it right through the legs off the glove. But it was Lupe's glove. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah, maybe it's just Loops. Well, it's a good thing he makes bats and not gloves. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> you feel me? Got his ass. <laughs> Got him. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. So, um, nice little scrimmage today. Boski, okay, getting ready yeah. for the NABA tournament coming yeah. up uh, on Friday. We don't fantasy, though? We, we, oh, I'm oh. sorry. Yeah, my bad. Yeah, fantasy <laughs> baseball. So, um, yeah, um, I'm right I'm right in the middle of everything. I'm, uh, I got a win against, mm-hmm. um, uh, oh, uh, freaking uh, Richard, uh, Marlins man Richard. Uh-huh. Got the victory against Marlins. <laughs> can I say something about Marlins? Man, real of course, quick? of course you can. The microphone I, is. I can't right believe he yours. got booed at two hundred. Oh. <laughs> they just they're just giving him shit. I was like, damn, you guys really gonna boo him like that? That's fucked up. But you know they don't boo nobodies. Exactly, they don't boo nobodies. They don't boo nobodies. <laughs> that's you know fair. That's I mean? very fair. I like so, that. So yeah, I mean that's I think that's a a sign of respect. Oh yeah, you for know, sure. Getting booed. Yeah, no, Marlins are coming up, man. Mar- Marlins are coming up. They're doing their, uh, they're doing their thing. So shout out to them. Um, but fantasy, we'll get back yeah, to it. So fantasy baseball, there you go. Um, some of the shout out to the teams that are doing terribly. Um, <coughs> Rube. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Rube, thanks for playing. Yeah. Uh, the other Ruben. Thanks for hosting. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's right. Thanks for, for hosting host. episode two hundred. By mm-hmm, the way. Mm-hmm. Um, and then uh, the captain. Of course, Dude, captain, uh, the old Dick Arise, uh, <laughs> podcast partner. Yeah, Rubens just suck at fantasy baseball. Looks like you know it's it's not looking good for them. Yeah, Casey, Casey Plone, good old mm-hmm. Cubs clubby. Yeah, uh, he beat me last week. I think. Oh, did he really? Yeah, he did. But uh, it's only one of his four victories. <laughs> um. Uh, oh shit! You, right next to his nine losses. Damn. And uh, my buddy Julio, not Julio Espinoza, but my buddy Ricky Julio is also doing pretty terribly. Mason, mm-hmm. Mason McGarvey, how you doing there, buddy? Mason sucks at fantasy baseball. His dog. Team is called Gag Me Vladdy. Yeah, he's getting gagged by Vladdy. <laughs> Jesus Christ! He, also, this motherfucker came into the thing like I'm gonna beat all your asses, blah blah blah. Like, okay, Mason. He always like, comes in hot. You don't know who you're playing with, bro. Clean always it up. comes in hot. He's got a three percent chance of making postseason. And oh shit! Big Dick <laughs> Richard Marlins man, Bad Lux is his uh Bad fantasy team name. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> uh, took the L against my team this week, three in a row. But um, then you've got everybody else. So Frank the Tank is gonna come away with a victory this week against nice. uh, against Pat. Ooh yeah, Pat was not happy about that against Pat Daddy. Mm-hmm. Pat, so, what's his shit? Maybe this year's his team name. Maybe this year's his team name. Very clever, by the way. I love that it's, team name. It's a good one. Clever motherfucker. Yeah. And so now Pat and Frank are going to be tied for the seventh spot, which, by the way, top seven teams make the postseason. Oh, is it doing, you're doing seven? Top seven. So the first first place team in regular season gets a bye mm-hmm. week in the first round of playoffs. Okay. And then everybody else, the next six, go, uh, go and face each other to advance to the semifinal. Okay. And so tied for that seven spot is going to be Frank the Tank and Pat, maybe this year. Okay. And then moving up a spot, thanks to their victory against the good old Cuban Raft Riders, is going to be Franco's little babies. Fuck. Ethan Manning <laughs> is going on to uh, to a record of 8-5-1. and one. What a bastard. And then uh, good old Boski's team here is going to go to 9-5. and five. Mm. Meanwhile, Halo D, is on, he's going to be on a nine-week winning streak. Dude, homie's hot. He's so hot right now. He's so hot right now. <laughs> Nine week winning streak. He's gonna go on to <laughs> ten and four, uh, tied with me, and then uh, Dad Bats Lupe going on to ten and three with one tie. Damn. John Lane goes on to eleven and three. Who the fuck ties in points? <laughs> I don't know. But How does that happen? It's dumb. It seems like there's always one. There's always just there's one. always a tie. Yeah, somehow one, one, one a one. season. I think I think at some point with fantasy, if there's ever ties in points, like. We all got to take a shot on video. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just yeah, just for the, for the okay. fucking culture. Just for the culture. For the fucking culture. Always. Dog. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna make Rizman's dog. That say for the fucking culture. All right. Yeah. 
I'm okay. on it. I'm Very on nice. There you go. You heard it here on episode 201. Yeah. Start right. of the next. But I don't. Right. I also don't want to get away from fucking bush leaguers. Yeah. So maybe I'll use I'll I'll use for the culture just to keep it clean. You know, mm. for them. For, oh yeah, there you go, Boski. For you them, know. for them damn kids. You know, promote promote the nice culture, <laughs> nice friendly culture oh, that we shit. have here. Yeah, we're super friendly. Yep. You know. Yep. <laughs> So anyway, we uh, say one thing and do another. <laughs> <laughs> so in our uh, in our podcast league, um, our that's right. The World Pod Classic. The World I totally Pod bowed out Classic. of that. Real Talk Baseball has only uh, lost once. In fact, they're going to go on to two losses this week because they just lost to. Is it 705 yet? Oh, really? Nice. 705 is always in it, man. 705 is a uh, good old Philly, Philadelphia Phillies podcast. Mm-hmm. Yep. And um, uh, they're going to move on to a record of eight and six. Real talk baseball is going to go to twelve and two. This is revenge. <laughs> <laughs> that's that one. Oh that's, yeah, yeah. Are barely even exists on the internet. Yeah, that one is. Uh, that's in second place. They're going to go on to ten and four. Mm-hmm. Streak talkers are going to be in third place, and then Sunday League the podcast, the fantasy team oh. is going to be right there in fourth. Damn. So we're, we're right in there. Clean it up, DA. <laughs> Take a pitch. Take a pitch is uh, coming in last place so far, but they did win this week. They're going to be three and okay. eleven. They're probably like checked out. Maybe the the they're doing they're giving it the rube treatment. Baseball Brew Crew they uh, took an L this week as well. They're going to be a ninth. Last yeah. call baseball they also took an L. They're going to be tied for ninth. And then Deep Fryer, our good old buddy Javi, over there uh, down in San Diego, mm. representing for the Padres. You know what, man. Fuck him. And I'll tell you why. Because the Padres beat the shit out of the Red Sox over the weekend. Mm. Back-to-back deja vu games, bro. Stupid. I was pissed. Proceed. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Congrats to him for his team beating my team. That is all. That's all. Dingers and Ks. Dingers and Ks took a win this week, so they're going to stay above 500. Nice, nice, nice. I feel like all of those podcasts don't really release episodes anymore. Um. I wouldn't. I'm not too sure why they wouldn't. Real talk. They're good podcast. Real real talk still does. I haven't seen anything from 705. What about Street Talkers? Street Talkers is in there. They're in third place. I right haven't now. seen anything from Street Talkers. Damn it. Podcast wise, um, I I I know why. I have been in touch. So, um, <laughs> excuse me. Um, what other what other podcasts were there? That's it, man. There's just ten. There's just ten. There's just ten. Yeah. There's a, a lot of a, a lot of those are uh, are temporarily checked out. Unfortunately, yeah. Sunday League, the podcast remains strong. Always, dude. Always. Consistency is king consistency in this universe, man. King. Yep. Got to stay in people's faces and in their ears. Uh-huh. Especially when you're playing, when you're actually playing real baseball, because yeah. um, what keeps you, what, what, what keeps a starter starting? Consistency. That's a good point, so Boski. I don't know why you're not a coach. Me? Yes. I'm the worst human being on the planet. Stop I'm, it. I am not coaching anybody. I'm not coaching kids. No. Like, fuck them kids. I'm not coaching no kids. I am not. can't do it. I just can't do it. I don't want to deal with nobody's parents. Be like, you're a parent. Get out here. Speaking of coaches. Mm-hmm. That's okay. you. You're one of those. I was. I was. Uh, well, next season hasn't started yet, so I don't know if I'm coaching again yet. But speaking of coaches. Got okay. I know you... You've seen it on on all of the social medias. Okay. okay. College World Series, uh-huh. Texas A and M versus Tennessee. Is this a coach that blew up or something? Did you, I don't did think you I... see that press conference? Um, the, Bro, coach's name, the coach's name is Jim Schlossnagel. They call him Schloss. Okay, Schloss. Okay. Head coach for Texas A and M. Right after the game. They, you know, post game conference. One of the reporters asks them, like, "Okay, I know you've heard the rumors about uh, opening at University of Texas, okay. which, by the way, University of Texas, prestigious baseball program. Right? Their school has been around forever. I think their baseball program has been around since like the very late eighteen hundreds. Really? Yes. Come on. You can look it up. Okay. University of I, Texas. I believe baseball you. <laughs> program. Um, I have I have no reason to know that. So. <laughs> they have had in their entire program's history mm. fourteen head coaches. Damn, think about that. Yeah, no, yeah, over a hundred years. A bunch of old fucking geezers. Fourteen head coaches. <laughs> One of their head coaches um, in the past was a guy named Augie Garrido. Yes, I do know him. Remember him? He has he, the famous speech. that rant. Yeah, yeah rant. that famous rant. You yeah. know, I failed you guys. All that stuff. Yeah. He yeah. also coached at Cal State Fullerton, by the way. Okay. Anyway. 
So the head coach for Texas recently stepped down or got fired or mm-hmm. whatever. I don't know. He's not there no more. So okay. there's an opening now at this prestigious baseball program. Mm-hmm. And this reporter now asks the Texas A&M head coach, Jim right. Schlossnagel, a.k.a. Schloss. <laughs> Schlong. Hey. His name's Schlong. <laughs> coach Schlong, let's go. Coach Schlong. <laughs> Schlong anal. How about a... <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just, I don't want to give him disrespect. I'm just oh, fucking shit. around. Oh, okay. I'll disrespect him. Let's go Schlong anal. <laughs> coach Schlong I know anal. You, I know you're aware of this opening at University of Texas. You know, uh, what is your thought on you potentially taking this, ro- this spot? And he goes, you know, I think that's kind of selfish of you to ask me that question. And he kind of goes <laughs> off on this guy, right? Okay. He goes off on him saying, you know, I poured my heart and soul into this. I've lost everything. <laughs> Not I've lost everything, but I've given up a lot to, you know, to take this job right and uh, i took this job to never take another job again mm-hmm. and uh, you can write that he says to this reporter right <laughs> it's all over the internet everywhere you can write that the very next day okay. he gets named the head coach of university of texas no the very next no day bullshit. yeah <laughs> wow and so in his new introductory press conference with texas first thing he does i gotta apologize to this reporter <laughs> i gave him the schlong anal and oh no kinda, Kind of, you know, yeah. Ah, that's a bad look. Yeah, dude, it's Ugh. terrible. That's a terrible. And then look. after that, he, you know, they he does this like ceremonial, you know, blast the cannon, oh, he blast the cannon. He puts up the Longhorns, and uh, he's all about Texas now. Oh, well, yeah, he has to be. He's taking all of his coaches from Texas A and M. Every single one of them uh-huh. is going over to the University of Texas. Wow, that's... including one of his coaches. His name is Max Weiner. I swear. I swear. <laughs> Not minimum wiener. It's max wiener. Oh, my God. Give him the max wiener. Uh, it's John Lane's dick. <laughs> the longest yard. Oh, my God, dude. That's so fucking funny. Yeah, bro. So No anyway. shit. I had no idea. I mean, I don't, I don't really pay attention to college baseball, so. Yeah. Unfortunate. Unfortunately. I mean, they use metal bats. I'm not saying they're not good at baseball. They just. They use metal bats. (laughs) They're going to kill each other. Like, use wood bats, dude. You know, I would settle for bomb bats. Yeah. I would settle for them using bomb bats. Everybody's bat would essentially roughly be the same. You know? Or how about dad bats? How about if dad bats went into the college game? That'd be wild. If he could design, like... You know, bats after the the college itself. Yeah, imagine that. That's an insane production, dude. God damn. Well, you know, gonna have to hire a bunch of minions. Yeah, sign me up, dog. I don't uh, sign me up to where I don't do anything. Just don't take him to Arizona with you. Uh, yeah. Oh <laughs> fuck. <laughs> yeah. Now that there, there's some there's some talks about Arizona, yeah. which I don't think I'm actually gonna play in that, but uh, potentially the Napa World Series is what you're talking the about. The Napa World Series. Yeah, I think I think the body just don't want to. Hmm. Doesn't want to, but if there's an opportunity to go make a little bit of cash, then hopefully, maybe, potentially, we'll see. That's but, still kind of up in the air. But yeah, anyway, so Boski, there uh-huh. you go. Yeah. Be a coach, man. Go be a coach. Oh, fuck no, dude. I don't yeah. want to coach. Texas A and M needs somebody. <laughs> <laughs> imagine, they need somebody. Imagine, imagine, imagine you see me out there coaching. I'm just. They're like the fucking batter looks at me like for signs, and I'm just like just fucking hit a bump. <laughs> fucking just do. I just do this. <laughs> Pitcher hits them. Like next batter, <laughs> Dude, oh, well, I'm waving my finger like doing the home run sign. Yeah. Uh, so for that's, those, that's uh, what that is. We're not on video, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, but yeah, no, uh, I'm not. I'm not. I you would, would de- never see yourself coaching ever. No, dude. I coached once in. I've coached a couple of times. I coached one year after my senior year in high school. Coming out of high school, I coached. The J- I helped coach the JV team. Uh, at at the school I went to at, at Eisenhower. Uh, it was just for one season. It was fun. It was fun, but like I, I also wasn't the head coach. I'm, I'm more of like, I can do one on one shit. I can't do, I can do one on one shit, but like I'm kind of like a rover. That's where I would thrive as a coach. Like, hey, don't you just let me go out and let me do whatever I'm gonna do. You guys organize practice, and then I'll step in and help organize the or help coach like one on one shit. Like, cause I, I watch players a lot. Like, I can see, uh. Like, okay, that guy probably worked this, this, and this, and he can improve on some shit. But uh, where I'm at in my life now, no. No, no, I can't do it. I did coach with uh, with Little Rube. We coached All-Stars one year. Mm. Uh, it was uh, little It was little League, but the the older kids, the high school age kids. It's interesting because he didn't have, like, a son on the team. No, it was at the at the park that's down the street from his house. And he, he just asked me, like, as a favor. Like, yeah, I'll help you out, bro, whatever. Like, just see, let's just see what happens. He's like, let's just focus like on finishing the season, and then we'll like we'll really dial it in for the All-Stars. 
teams. Mm. Excuse me. We won the district uh, tournament, and then we went to the one after that. I think it's section. State? Oh, section. Okay. Section, and then um, we lost. We lost to my nephew's all star team actually at the time. Damn. Yeah. So okay. We, so like my sister was there, but I was in the other on the other <laughs> team. So it's like whatever. Like I didn't do anything, dude. Like yeah. we just let the kids just play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was cool, man. It was cool. Um, but not, that's not something that I want to do. I don't want to deal with parents. I don't want to deal with anybody's just bullshit. I just, yeah. I don't care. I don't care about what people uh, want. In There's sense. a lot of drama when it comes to coaching. Of course. Naturally. You know, especially when it comes to little kids. Mm-hmm. Uh, the younger they are, it almost seems like the more intense the parents can be <laughs> sometimes. Yeah. Which is terrible. I coached, I coached uh, 12 and under mm-hmm. for my daughter's uh, all-star team. Yeah. And I didn't have, I didn't really have much issues with the parents. You know, I felt like, you know, I did a pretty decent job as far as like playing time and that kind of thing. Uh But I did have one parent that said, you know, hey, um, you know, my my kid, you know, is pretty good at this one position. And, you know, it seems like you kind of haven't put her there for Mm -hmm. a little while. So I just want to remind you, she's pretty good there. You know, all right, cool. So. I, you know, I kept her in the rotation, right? but for the most part, like, yeah, I didn't, I didn't really have any issues, but there were other divisions that had some pretty serious issues. One of the, one right. of the, one of the head coaches got removed from oh. a younger division team. Okay. Um, what would you, well, never it, was, mind. It, was, never mind. it was mostly like playing time stuff, you know, mostly okay. playing time stuff. And then there was, so other, he was trying to win. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. What the fuck? Yeah, unfortunately. You know? Yeah, no, it, it does come down to winning when, it, especially when it comes to all stars. Right, right. When right. it comes down to all stars, like that's that's number one on the priority list is mm-hmm. winning. Yeah. Aside from player health and that kind of thing, yeah, you yeah. know. Aside from that, priority is winning. You got to put a winning, you know, product on the on the yeah. field. If you don't win, it's on the coach. Really, yeah. it's it's got to be on the coach because we the, had a pretty talented. The, the team. next guy's coming in if yeah, you right. ain't if, if you ain't winning as a coach. If you so. ain't winning. So, yeah, yeah, we'll see what happens next season. I don't know if I'm going to come back to coach next season because I, I had a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. But part of it, too, is, you know, I'm coaching my kid. You know, right. My kid was on the team. Mm-hmm. And for anybody that's listening that, that coaches and especially that coaches your own kid, a lot of times you can say the same thing as somebody else, but they will listen to somebody else because it's coming right. from somebody else's mouth. Yes. You know yeah. what I mean? I, I had that with my dad. Uh, he, was, he was always on my fucking ass. Yeah. And then but it just wouldn't sink in. And then he would take me to like this coach, that coach, or whatever, or just any other coaches from like just some of the programs that I was a part of. And it was just it was easy coming from somebody else. Why do you think that was? Uh, it's it's more of like, hey, dad, don't tell me what to do, man. Type of. I think that was my problem. Like you tell me what to do all the time. No, you can't do that here. Uh, pretty much, yeah, pretty much. So so, but like I I think I was just not as receptive because like of course like you'll have like your at home beef with your parents and shit. And I think that's roughly what it could boil mm-hmm. down to for most for most yeah. kids. Um, but for me, like with that, like I was just more receptive to to people in general. I'm more receptive to people that are not my family. Mm-hmm. You know, like my mom will tell me something. I'm not as receptive to it as say, for example, if like like if your mom was to tell me something, mm-hmm. I might I'll, I'll hear it differently. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? It's yeah. just that's just how I'm pro. I was I was the same way growing up. Yeah, I was the same way growing up. And so, you know, my kid now, I I kind of see it now. Like mm-hmm. this season, that we had we had some situations where mm-hmm. I'm like, hey, you're gonna have to catch two games today, right? And she's rolling her eyes at me, and she's like, you know, I'm telling her, hey, you know, great job, but I need you to focus on doing this a little bit better. Right. And then she's rolling her mm-hmm. eyes, and then she'll get emotional, mm-hmm. like, eh, my dad. And and, 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 and I think that's what it is. Just yeah. like like like. You don't want to hear negativity from your parent, you know, mm-hmm. but you can take constructive criticism from from a stranger, I guess. Yeah. You know, somebody that that you're that you don't see all the fucking time. Yeah. You yeah. Know? So because at the same time, like think about it, like you're telling you're telling her to probably do her chores and shit like go do this, go do that and doesn't want to. Yeah. So then that probably carries over into onto the field and onto the field. And, and right. then like if you have some if she has some beef with you on the way to the field, shit like that, bro. She don't want to do her homework. Like I get it. I took her phone away yesterday, and now oh, she, I got to I got to tell her to do this on the field. Like, yeah, yeah. Dude. And, and it's crazy because my my daughter, my oldest, she's like that with me. Like I try to I try to be key, like keep it positive with her shit. Like we have her in dance right now, right? Yeah. And like I'm watching her do her 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 dance steps, and I'm just like, no, she fucked that up. No, like no, 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 that's not what they're doing. Like she's just like I, it's the 
the watching individual players that carry over mm. into that. But I'm only watching her. I don't give a fuck about them other kids. <laughs> like, like I said, fuck them kids. <laughs> and so I'm watching her, and I'm just like, no, like, she's got to, like, do it like this. <laughs> this is how you do it, Mika. Look. <laughs> I know. I'm over here doing the fucking Mexican hat dance and shit. <laughs> got Boski dancing over here. I know, dude. And, and, and like, I'm, like, I'm trying to tell her. They take their break and she comes back. She's like, I can't get the steps. And she's like kind of emotional. I'm just like, look, it, you need to relax. It's the first time you've seen the steps. She's like, don't talk to me. I'm so upset right now. Damn. I'm just like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Looking around like, you guys seen this shit? <laughs> you know? It is what it is, man. Them Punk kid, them kids Punk don't ass to kids, bro. <laughs> she's a sweetheart. But like with me, it's a little different. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little different. I, I get it. I get it. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see if I'm coaching next season. I I told the league like, yo, if you absolutely need somebody to step yeah. up, ain't nobody gonna means. step up, dog. Don't nobody no, want to coach. They, they will. No, uh, somebody will. No, bro. I guarantee it. There's a bunch of me out there, and they're like, man, fuck them kids. <laughs> they want to go watch their kids and drink at the same time. Yeah. That's what they want to do. They want to drink out of their Stanley cups. That's true. Yeah, out They're of their Stanley. damn big old ass <laughs> trash can Stanley yeah. cups. And it's just water. Yeah, it's just Capri Sun. It's just flavored water. It's a BBC. Makes you feel Big good. black coffee. Big, <laughs> big black coffee. There you go. That's it. Yeah, <laughs> man. I don't know. We'll see. If they really do, then I will step up. But you yeah. know what? No, it's not easy, man. I do want to shout out my homie Jason. Mm -hmm. My homie my homie Jason, who um, he coaches uh, in the same league that, that I coach in. Mm -hmm. His uh, He coaches his daughter. And I, I think I remember the first time that I met him kind of, you know, told me the same thing. Like, you know, I'm really not interested in coaching. You know, I want somebody else to coach my kid. Right. But if, you, you know, somebody's got to step up, yeah. then I'll do it. Because then know? you, at the same time, like, you have to find that balance to where, like, you ain't trying to show favoritism towards your kid. Yeah. Or you don't want to have perceived favoritism. Because yeah. it's not how you do it. It's how it's perceived. Right. Like, yeah. so if, like, the parents perceive it a certain way, they're going to be like, oh, well, that's he's. He's just favoring his daughter, blah, blah, blah. Like, I'm sure you probably may have ran into that. I probably have, you, you know? know. Yeah, there was, I mean, I want to say in, in the spring season, uh, my daughter's main position is catcher. Mm -hmm. But there were a couple of other catchers that were also really good. Yeah. But, you know, I, I split the time as best as I could. And I put my kid in there because yeah. that's, hey, that's that's her best position. Yeah. But there were other good girls that were just as good, if not maybe a little bit better. Yeah. And then what sucks as a coach, you can't be like, yo, shut your bitch ass up. <laughs> Get your ass out here. I would never. You, I'm, you I would, would never not openly <laughs> not openly and I, I you know but but I, I you know the last season not this one during all stars but the season before they give uh, they put out surveys so like you know gotcha. on a scale of one to ten you know how would you rate uh, your daughter's <laughs> playing time I got some of that dude. did you really did. and it's not anonymous like, or it's it's anonymous it has but, to be anonymous but I, I kind of know where it came from right I kind of know sense. where it came from um, one, one parent said something like I gave him the short end of the stick when it came to like, you know, development or something, uh -huh. but I kind of know where it came from, you I know, because you. this, it is what it is. I, I take it as a, as a, as a learning moment to say like, all right, I got to make sure that, you know, I'm taking everything into account, not just, yeah. you know, my kid, not yeah. just this kid or that kid. It's gotta be everything. Yeah. So well, well the, the parents displeasure. Yeah. <laughs> You're not good. <gonna, laughs> hey bro, I'm sorry. That your kid sucks. <laughs> <laughs> not not this even little that. bitch ass don't even want to run his lap sorry <laughs> <laughs> it ain't like that but um but yeah i got to shout out jason though because his uh, they're, they're going to the state championship in lancaster this nice. next weekend Congrats. um and his daughter's a phenomenal pitcher uh -huh. she she was battling through injuries but here they are dude here they are making it through states and uh, i gotta nice. shout him out so shout out jason shout out jason taking a drink for there you, you my friend um yeah me too by the way he wants to be a gator <laughs> dog <laughs> So the Gators are have a lot of players at the moment. We got a lot. That. I was showing you our, our our pretty much our potential roster, and it was it's we got what nineteen guys. It's looking seventeen to nineteen. There's something that's kind of up in there at the moment, but uh, yeah, bro, we have we have a lot of players. That's good, man. You know that's that's it's a good phenomenal. problem to have. At the same time, it's it's like fuck. Like there's a lot that needs to be a. Uh, squared away and it's a little tough at the moment but uh we're looking okay we're looking all right you know i'm looking forward to the new season we um we're putting the ball in play that's we're, what's up we're hitting the ball hard uh I, ultimately it's just uh <coughs> it's a good it's a it's a defensive thing <laughs> yeah so t today today it showed a little bit 
Uh, well, it's a long season, you know, and you guys are going to need as many hands on deck as you can get. Yeah. And on top of that, too, bro, like we were, we were, uh, all the pitchers got like one or two innings yeah. at, at most. You know, there was a lot of guys out of position. Uh, but, you know, again, no excuse. Same old bullshit. Like, just be better. Yeah. Just be better. As just be say. better. <laughs> All right. Well, let's stay on the All-Star topic here. Let's talk MLB All-Stars. Did you know that the Ooh. All-Star ballot uh, is down to the finalists? <laughs> I had no clue. So I'm I stopped voting for MLB All-Stars. I don't remember when. I don't think the la- I think the last time I voted for an MLB All-Star was before COVID. Okay. Before COVID, I would vote every year. That was like yeah. the thing. I'm gonna vote for all Mariners. Nerd. Let's go. Yes, Get but those nerds. But uh, ever since COVID happened and all that stuff, like I, I guess I just kind of fell off that wagon a little bit. Right. But um, now they're down to the finalists. So the way that it works is the top vote getters in the American League and National League get an automatic bid mm-hmm. or an automatic spot on the roster. So for the American League, do you know uh, who that was? Without uh, looking at it, the overall. Um, it's probably Aaron Judge. Not a boy. Aaron okay. Judge got over three million votes, and then for National League, for National League, it, it, okay, Acuna's out because he's injured, so I'm gonna take him off. Um, it's got to be Harper, but he just got hurt too. <coughs> yes, before he got hurt though, it was it Harper. Is. Okay, okay, I was gonna say it's Harper or Mookie, but Mookie's also hurt, but. They're probably right there with each other. Yeah. So Aaron mm-hmm. Judge, Bryce Harper, and top vote getters in the American League and National League Got at the it. end of the first round of voting. So they get an automatic spot uh, onto the onto the roster. So for the American League now, the catchers, the next two or the first two spots. Um, let me say this. Let me put it this way. The next phase of voting, you're going to be able to vote for two position players in each league for the catcher's position it's adley rutschman sal perez oh my guy salvador there you go i love salvador in the american league for first base it's ryan mountcastle and vladdy guerrero mm, jr that's two of my fantasy guys and second base jose altuve marcus simeon okay it's a good little battle like yep, yep yep and then uh, third base you're gonna have jose ramirez and jordan westberg in the american league i'm sorry where the fuck is devers Mm, he's not there. <laughs> uh, it's all good, man. He's not there. Yeah, the Westberg is there. A yeah, lot I, of Orioles. I need to see their their side by side numbers. But but de- <laughs> de- <laughs> but but the de- fuck shortstop. You're gonna have Gunnar Henderson or Bobby Witt Jr. Makes sense. Now these are for the starters, by the way. Okay. Um, the outfield you have since Aaron Judge has already give, been given a spot. Okay. There's gonna be two outfield spots. And it's going to go to either Juan Soto, Stephen Kwan, Anthony Santander, or Kyle Tucker. Mm, Soto and Tucker. All right. Yeah. And then for DH, it's going to be Jordan Alvarez or Ryan O'Hearn. Ooh. It's probably going to go to Jordan. Popularity-wise, yeah, probably mm. Jordan. I don't know the numbers. I don't, I don't pay as much attention to MLB anymore, dude. Mm. I don't. I just don't. It's all about Sunday League now because I'm for the culture. Fucking Sunday League. Yeah, this, shit, culture. this shit's real. That shit is fantasy. Fucking Bush Leaguers and shit. <laughs> all right. National League catchers is going to be between William Contreras and JT Realmuto. Okay. Uh, first base, it'll go to either. Um, oh, wait. First base is already going to go to Bryce Harper. So, oh, so second base. It. Okay. Second base is going to be Ketel Marte or Luis Arraez. Okay. I like it. Third base, Alec Bohm or Manny Machado. Shortstop, Mookie Betts or Trey Turner? <laughs> going to go to Trey Turner. Probably. Mookie Betts <laughs> is going to be hurt, unfortunately. Outfield, there's six candidates for the starting three spots. Either Jerickson Profar, Christian Yelich, Teoscar Hernandez, Fernando Tatis Jr., Brandon Marsh, or Nick Castellanos. Some, some of these guys are hurt, man. I know Tatis is out because I have him on fantasy. Mm-hmm. Um, Mookie obviously is out. I think Alec Baum is out. Uh, and then the other one was Harper. Mm. I don't know where where Real Muto is at. Yeah. So and DH is going to go to either Shohei Otani <laughs> or Kyle Schwarber. We know where it's going. <laughs> Kyle Schwarber is probably like, why the fuck am I even on here? Yeah, dude, this is no point. <laughs> like, what the hell? He's, he should just start. <clears throat> he should start planning his three day vacation because. <clears throat> but no, he'll probably be at the All Star. He'll probably game. be at the All Star game, but he just won't be a starter. I wouldn't even bother. Mm. I'm, I'm taking vacation. He's injured anyways. He just went on. Oh, Schwarber is. Yeah, he went on the on the DL. Mm. The same day as Harper. Damn. Yeah. It's All fucked right. up, man. It's fucked up. So that's how that's going to go. Uh, f- and Interesting. Then, Who do you want? 
Uh, I want I, Griffey. I yeah. <laughs> Griffey, A-Rod, Randy. Let's go. <laughs> Fuck. No Martinez? And Edgar. Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. I forgot that guy. Ichiro? Oh, come on. Ichiro. Damn. Man. They were all on the same rod. No, A-Rod didn't play with Ichiro. No, he never okay. did. Well, maybe on the Yankees. <clears throat> not they, in the, but Mariners-wise. No, 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 no. Okay. Mm-mm. Well, um, I don't know, man. Uh, I Like you, I've kind of kind of fallen off the MLB wagon a little bit as well. Mm. Um, so I just know Shohei, Shohei's a fucking beast. Yeah, bro. He's stupid. an absolute beast. It's stupid. It's unfair. It is unfair. <laughs> and then he's about to come back and start pitching again pretty soon. Yeah, I saw him throwing Screw the other that, man. fucking guy. That guy, I, I respect him a lot, though. I oh, respect yeah, for him sure. a lot. I hate that he's on the Dodgers. He's a true ball player, though, because, like, he's not one-dimensional. He can mm-hmm. at least do, you know, contribute to both sides. Oh, for sure. You know? For sure. So I'm not sure, but I, I can tell you I'll probably be watching the All Star Game. Yeah, I probably won't go. I've been mm-hmm. to the last two All Star mm-hmm. home run derbies. Okay, the L A one I went with mm-hmm. you, and then Seattle I went to the home run derby mm-hmm. and I stayed for the All Star. Oh, game. for beer showers, you remember beer showers? <laughs> oh no, <laughs> that was wild, dude. You just had to be there. Sorry guys, yeah, <laughs> you just had to be there. And uh, <laughs> beer th- showers was nuts. <clears throat> this year it's in Texas. It's <laughs> yeah. at Globe Life Stadium. Mm-hmm. And so it's not too far away. I mean, okay. I guess it's not. I mean, it's not out of the quit. Like, it, you know. it's just going to cost you a pretty penny. Yeah, I'm definitely not fucking going. <laughs> hey, if you go sell I, a few dad bats, you might be able I to. I can't even go. Yeah, but the All Star game is going to happen before that. That's true. You know, it's all good. Anyway, so yeah, um, home run derby is also going to happen right before the All Star game. Yeah, only one that's committed to the home run derby right now is Gunnar Henderson. I saw that. I saw that he uh, announced it on ESPN. Yeah. Big, you, I'm a big Sunday night baseball guy. Yeah. I don't care how much hate the that ESPN actually gets for baseball on all that, but I like it. I like it. I like it too. I miss yeah. the days when they used to have baseball tonight every week. Yeah. Every weeknight. Every weeknight. Yeah, it was dope. And with but, uh, but, Peter Gammons. Yeah. Carl Ravitch. It was dope, dude. Just like they actually made the like, they kept me engaged. But now there's like MLB network and shit. I don't have MLB network, so I can't I can't really watch it. Um, if I really wanted to watch it though, like I know I can just go on YouTube the next morning and watch that stuff. Yeah, but I don't like. You know. Yeah. So, um, who would you want to see in the home run derby? Uh, Judge Soto, Harper. Judge is not going to do it. He's already committed to not doing it. Harper's not. Poon. <laughs> Aaron Fudge. No, he only said he he said he'll his only name do it. is now Aaron, Sharon Fudge. Sharon Fudge. Sharon Fudge. He's being a big mm. fudge. A big fudge and fudgina, <laughs> unfudgina, unfungina. Anyways, um, <coughs> let me see. Oh, well, out of all these guys, I mean, I'd like to see Fernando Tatis in there, but he's he's hurting. Schwarber is a good uh, a good one. Shohei, obviously, like all the fucking home run hitters, dude. Uh, Albert, oh, Jordan, bro. He's, Jordan's got to go in there. He has to. Uh, I think Jose Ramirez would be pretty sick. Uh, Vladdy's a good home run derby guy, but he's not having a great. A great season. All right. Well, home run um, leaders, Aaron Judge uh, at the top of the list. And then mm-hmm. Gunnar Henderson, he's number two, so he'll be in there. Shohei Otani is tied with Gunnar Henderson. I don't know if he's going to do the derby. You think he'll do it? Fuck yeah, he has to. It's the face of baseball. Mm, I don't know if he's going to do it, though. Uh-huh. He that's that's kind of like if there was a Sunday League home run derby and, and I didn't participate oh, in it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> with my Shut bomb bat. Ass right with now. my bomb bat. <laughs> that's like if Julio didn't do it. Uh, exactly. So, you know, we all got to do it. Uh, Jose Ramirez is uh, number four. Mm-hmm. Uh, Anthony Santander. Marcel Ozuna. He'd be he's, an interesting He's one. in there with 21 home runs. Yeah. Bryce Harper, Josh Naylor, and Juan Soto have 20. Okay. Josh Naylor is probably somebody who would do it. He, he Yeah, he looks fun. Mike him up. Mike oh, him up right? during the derby. Right? Yeah. I, have they done that? They haven't done that shit yet. Not during uh, the derby, no. Okay. Yeah, I need to do that. No. He's a He's a maniac. He's fucking wild. He's a madman. Yeah. Uh, Kyle Tucker, he's got 19. Mm-hmm. Rafi Devers has 18. Yeah, and he's and he's hit a lot of them late, like as of late. Mm-hmm. Maybe like his last seven have all come in like the last week and a half. It's mm-hmm. crazy. Teoscar and Giancarlo Stanton also mm-hmm. have 18. Stanton's also hurt. He's got the same injury as you, my friend. He's Which got a one? bad hammy. Which one, dog? I got the fucking my my left knee. He's got them all. My left knee is trashed. My right heel's bad. Oh, he's the same way, the, bro. The, Have you the, seen him run full speed? Yeah, I'll probably, dude. I'll probably still play next weekend, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like, who, who am I kidding? <laughs> I could see Pete Alonso doing it again. He loves the derby. Oh, he's so goofy. He loves the derby, though. Yeah, he does. Which I respect. Is he at least like 
like he owns it, you yeah. know. Yeah, he takes it pretty serious. I think I think he's in it for sure. If he gets an invite, he'll do it. Um, especially in Texas, the ball flies there, so he'll do it. Yeah, Ketel Marte, Kyle Schwarber, Christian Walker, Jordan Alvarez, Adolis Garcia. He's got to be in it. Oh yeah, thousand percent. He's got to be in it. Hometown. He's got to be in it for mm-hmm. sure. Mm-hmm. Nolan Gorman, uh, Tyler O'Neill. Let's see, Brian De La Cruz, Paul DeYoung, Riley Green, Shea Langoliers. Now we're getting into no namers. So, nah, yeah. fuck them. We'll see. Anyway, um, about time for Sunday League, but it's about time for Cup Check also. Cup Check. We'll be back. Otto Graham had made the Wyoming State Penitentiary hell on earth, and the government was beginning to realize what was going on. In 1911, a former senator who decided to run for governor named Joseph Carey campaigned to remove Graham's position as warden. When he won the governor's race, he gave Graham's job to a county sheriff named Felix Alston. By all accounts, Alston took a far more compassionate view of prisons. He lightened up the restrictions on food and water, gave the prisoners free education, and instituted major physical fitness programs. When they weren't doing all that, the inmates were sent out to fix the town's roads. This was a major breath of fresh air for the prisoners, some of which hadn't been outside for over 10 years. One day, Warden Alston went to check on the prisoners when he saw them playing a game of baseball in the prison yard. He sat and watched for a few minutes and couldn't help but notice some of the inmates were on par with professionals of the time. Later that day, Alston paid a visit to his good friend, Governor Joseph Carey, to ask if the prison could perhaps form a baseball team. At first, Carey thought to himself, no, why would I ever do that? That sounds like the stupidest idea I've ever heard. But then he realized he could make money betting on the team's games. Suddenly, Carey was all in. The players were bought brand new uniforms and were free to practice whenever they liked. They called themselves the Wyoming State Penitentiary All-Stars and arranged to play their first ever game on July 18th against the Wyoming Supply Company Juniors, one of the best teams in the area. Carey and Alston were about to make a lifetime supply of money off this team, but there was one issue. They hadn't figured out how a group of random death row criminals were going to beat a top tier professional team, but Alston had an idea. He told the prisoners that every game they won would mean time off their sentences. For those on death row, they might just even get their lives spared. If the team loses, on the other hand, time will be added to everyone's sentence. And death row inmates will be executed the very next day. In a short moment, the Wyoming State Penitentiary All-Stars will truly be playing for their lives. And we're back, DH. There was a date that they mentioned. Yep. Before we uh, get into our uh, our second fielder's choice. Mm-hmm. Um, they said July 18th was the first date of what? Uh, they were going to play their first game on yeah, July 18th, so. whatever year. Uh, July 18th is my wife's birthday, so it's very fitting. Hey, hey, how about that? Yeah. So, um, yeah, it, it's very fitting that... Uh, you got to play for your life on play July 18th. for your life. On Boski. July 18th, I'm playing for my life. <laughs> Could you imagine, though, if Storm were to be like, all right, Boski, here's the deal. You can go out and play today. But if you lose, <laughs> you you're <die>. done. <laughs> you die. It's over. Sunday league career is dead. If you win, you can play again next week. <laughs> oh, that'd be wild. I'd be like, uh, fuck, all right. How about, how about if you win this tournament, Boski? If you win this tournament, <laughs> are you allowed to go play in the Naba World Series? Oh, wow. I kind of... I'm about to talk to the wife about that. <laughs> you know? Yeah. You got to play for something. Yeah. yeah. Play for your baseball life. Yeah. That's not on the table yet, so stop back asking everybody. Don't ask. <laughs> Don't fucking ask. It might be, though. It could be. Hey, Bolski, how can I get on the tournament team? Don't <laughs> ask. <laughs> All you got to do is put together a highlight video. Uh, you know, just send it to Boski. Uh, make sure you preface it with, "Hey, my name is Joe Schmo. I play third base. I'm from I'm be like, Nebraska. I, I also play third base. <laughs> I'm from Nebraska. This is my highlight video. Shit. Oh. And take a video of you hitting bombs. Oh, that'd be wild. Um, yeah, it's at a pony field. <laughs> <laughs> some random pony field in some random ass Sunday league that's brand new. Hey, why not? No. Why not? I know. Um, that'd be crazy though. I. Ah, she's not gonna go for that. <laughs> <laughs> she's not going for that. <laughs> like what? No, no. You're not going. I, now I'm imitating her voice. Now she's gonna be like, "Oh, that's what I sound like." No, oh, don't, yeah, don't do it, Boski. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't go that road. All the all the homies know, man. They all know that that uh, w- once you imitate the wife's voice, it's a wrap. 
It's over. You're done. <laughs> yeah, you, you might as well just hang everything up. Because she's going to hang you from your dick. Yeah, from a jock strap. Yeah, man. Um, so part two, uh, back from back from cup check. What you got mm. in your cup? Water. Not a boy, Boski. Way to represent the culture. Water. For the, We're not all about partying and drinking. For, for the fucking culture. That's what we do. We drink water here. We uh, we try to be the best role models on planet fucking Earth. Damn right. So that everybody knows what not to do. Or to uh, that's you know. right. Culture shit, man. Culture shit. I'm I'm don't don't follow my lead. You're I'm drinking. drinking a little bit of gin and juice right now. <laughs> oh, you rolling down the street. That's right. Oh, there you go. That's right. I love man. that. Little Japanese gin in my cup. Mm. Little Japanese gin. Okay. Uh, with some uh, some splash of orange something. I don't know what it is, but orange Capri Sun. Yeah, a little from, citrusy from the team mom. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. She was my team mom. Yeah. Actually. Oh, was she? Yeah, she was a team mom. Nice. That Job works. well done. Also, by the way, mm. well done. There you go. Her birthday's coming up. It is. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's coming up this week. My wife's birthday is the same day as my brother. Oh really? Very same day as my brother. That's dope. As well as uh, an old coworker of mine, good friend mm-hmm. of mine, who they all share the same birthday, July fifth. Oh, interesting, interesting. Day uh, after America. America. My uh, one of my pictures for the daddies. Mm-hmm. Uh, July fourth is his birthday. Oh shoot! Yeah. Shout all out, right. shout out, Mark. What up, fucking Mark Lazinski? Yes, sir. Fucking fucking lefty. Do it for America. Fucking lefty. He um yeah, I think his birthday's on July fourth. So shout shout out to that. His, uh, birthday will be this week. Yeah, for do the you, pod. Yeah. Do you know anybody else that has your birthday? Um, uh, yeah, I have a couple of people. Um, the the you remember the Valdez brothers? Yeah, Richard and Robert Valdez. Yeah, we, we share. They're 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 twins actually. And no, so, really, are they really? Yeah, but they're not like those look-alike twins. They were just <laughs> no, I swear to god. Like they, they were born twins. they were born they were born together yeah. as twins. They just look nothing alike. They don't. No, not at all. They're different sizes. Mhm. They're Robert's they're, fat, Richard's thin. I wasn't going uh, that far. One's, one's a, tall, one's short, one's a lefty, one's a righty. Yeah. Yeah, dude, it's a trip. Those fools were good, man. They were good ballers. Absolutely. Yeah, I enjoyed, wonder what they're up to these days. I enjoyed playing playing with and uh, played against them a little bit. Robert was a nasty lefty. Yeah, fucking nasty lefties. fucking lefties bro i'm telling you he was he was pretty gross yeah yeah i remember uh i don't know if it was a curveball or a slider that he threw but it had just nasty like uh i would say like a one to seven break on it yeah it had a good bite yeah, yeah it had a good bite. and richard didn't throw super hard mm-hmm. but he could move the ball he had a rubber arm he could move that, it and he could go for days he would yeah he'll throw he would have thrown 11 innings for you if you asked him to yeah yeah oh for sure and we wild. were playing in the majors divisions too. It's not like we were fucking playing in single A or anything mm-hmm. like that. No, good ball players. Yeah, yeah definitely. Miss right those on. guys. If you guys are listening, uh, love you, man. Happy birthday on January thirtieth. <laughs> in, in about in about another half year. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's what trips me out. Like my wife is six months older than me, so like, yeah, got me an older woman. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was gonna say, would you consider her a cradle robber um, if she's six months earlier than you? No, I mean, we were both babies at the same time. So, That's true. You know. That's true. That's yeah. true. All right. Uh, so, Sunday League Ball. Oof. No SOS this week. Nope. Got lazy. Didn't want to do it. Mm. Straight up. Full dis- full like, full like transparency. Didn't feel like it. I don't want to hear anybody's shit right now. So, that's it. There it is. Yeah. So, uh, no SOS. But uh, tournament ball is coming up. We got yeah. four tournaments yes. this weekend. Mm-hmm. Not all in Southern California. Nope. Uh, all over the U.S. We got uh, the Naba Firecracker Tournament coming up in SoCal and in NorCal. Okay. And then there's also the the Hall of Fame Tournament in Cooperstown, New York. Interesting. Did I say that right? New York? New York. Yeah. Give me your so. New York accent, Boski. I, I don't know it. I don't know any New Yorkers. And I don't say li- New York. New York. New York. No, nah, I, I, I can't do it, bro. I terrible. can't do it. <laughs> can't do it justice. Nah. Uh, and then there's also one in Colorado, Denver, Colorado, called the Danny G. Fugita, Fugita. Memorial Mile High Classic Tournament. That's a tongue twister. I, I think it's pronounced Fujita. Fujita. I could I could be very wrong. Somebody's going to correct me. It's like, come on, Boski, get it right. Uh, Don't you know who Danny Fujita that's is? That's why they changed your schedule, because you didn't get it right. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, I threw my jab. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the Sunday League Daddies 
will be partaking <laughs> in the Southern California Firecracker Tournament. That's that's our team. That's the that's the team that's for the culture for that, sure. That's right, Boski. Yep. The Sunday League Daddies will be partaking in the eighteen wood rookie national division. Yes. So how did that happen? Uh I signed up the team and then I just asked you like what do you want to do? And I was like, open, nah. Like we'll leave the open for the open guys. And then I, I just wrote rookie, dude. I didn't even write I didn't write American. I didn't write national. Nothing. I just wrote rookie. So when you sign up a team, you get to choose which division you go into. Yeah, I guess for, for the most part, yeah. And um, sorry, I lost a little audio in my headphones. So did I. There we go. I accidentally touched the cord. I'm, I'm not gonna play Ooh, with the, I'm not gonna double click the mouse anymore. Accidentally anywhere. touched the cord while I double click the mouse. Mm, love that. Mm. Okay, stop being. You know what. Yeah, I'll stop doing that. Um, <laughs> so so you yeah, get to choose. You get to choose in a yeah. Sense, it right? asks you for your, like your preference and shit. And so, and I, I imagine that's for like for example, there's a forty five fifty division. All right, forty five. Yep. Slash fifty. So like, if you're trying to enter a team into like an older uh, pool, then like you would write that and stuff. So I just put I put um eighteen eighteen rookie. I would assume that if you were gonna sign up for like a forty five fifty division, you have to have a certain number of guys that are that age. Yeah, there's rules and all that shit, and I, I mean, I read it, but I didn't read that part. There's probably, I mean, you probably don't have anybody on the roster that's mm. 45. Mm, I'm fucking close to it. <laughs> 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 like, what's the requirement? At least one. Well, as we said earlier, in about six months, <laughs> I'll be 40 myself. Damn, that's right. Yeah, bro. Damn, Boski. Oh, yeah. Pushing 40. We gotta have a big. For, we gotta have a big bash for Boski. I already know what it is. Oh, is that it's, right? It's already in my head. It's going to be um, uh, the roast of Boski. No. Oh. Boski's, Boski's oh. roast. <laughs> Please do this shit. I could take it. I could take it. <coughs> Excuse me. I, I could take it. There's some clever motherfuckers out there. Uh, they be putting heads on my body, and it's fucking funny. Oh, and uh, I got I, shit. I need to show that meme to the wife. Actually, she's gonna be like, "Wow, really? That is hilarious." <laughs> That's the one that I showed you earlier. You were like, "Wow, they made that." Uh, you know, even, Excuse me. <clears throat> even even I'm uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, even I'm not immune to things. <laughs> oh, of course not. <laughs> you know, of course not. I'm an easy target. I, I know that I'm an easy target. <laughs> but your your birthday, your 40th birthday, lands on a Thursday. Mm. So <laughs> it's, it's either you Friday. do it on a Thursday and you take Friday night off from work, mm-hmm. or you just push it back to either you know February second. Mm-hmm. Or you do it early, January twenty sixth on a Sunday. Yeah, but uh, that would be that would be awesome. A, a Boski roast. Oh, it's right, the roast of Boski, yeah, for sure. And then we'll like somebody can roast some meat outside, so it'd be like a Sunday league roast. Yes, or whatever the yes. fuck. Yeah, yes, yeah. I would love a turn at the mic. <laughs> oh, dude, you probably get the first. I don't. I yeah. I would love a turn at the mic. Did you watch the Tom Brady roast? That's <laughs> yeah, pretty good. It was hilarious. It was pretty good. Yeah, I was I was fucking dying. That I'm like, chick oh. Nikki Glazer, that uh, that shit she, put her on the map. Is she the one that was acting like a huge whore? Yeah, yeah. Okay. The blonde she, early on. The blonde. Yeah, she was pretty. She was early on, and she was hilarious. Yeah, she was. She that was, put her on the map for sure. Oh, okay, yeah. That was funny. That was a point that I fell asleep. <laughs> but it was good. It was a pretty good roast. It's because I think I think too. Like for me, like I don't really know some of the people. I'm just like, well, who the fuck is this? Who the fuck is that? But you know, then they get into it. And it's like, okay, that's fucking funny. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Gronkowski's part wasn't that great. Oh, okay. He was funny just because he's a goof. Okay. He looks like a goon. Yeah. Really? But, I mean, something like that mm-hmm. would be phenomenal for you. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. I can handle it. We but- can invite, We can invite. you know, some that, you know, maybe have a little extra motivation to roast you. Like who? Oh, who the fuck on. would want to have extra motivation to roast me? Oh, come on. Like, you know, the culture is fucking whack. That guy. Oh, dude, what the fuck is he going to fucking say? <laughs> no, I don't I'll be know. like, might, I'll be like, come here, come here, guy. Yeah, he just might, come stand next to me and then just just stand next to me. He might take it a little too serious. <laughs> he's he's going to fucking walk up and blast me in the forehead, dude. <laughs> to pull out a fucking 22 and just pop. That's it. No mas. <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, Boski sure is roast now. Oh, man. Roast beef. Um, yeah, no, I'll, just, I'll laugh. Okay. All right. We're going to have to rent out Rube's place again. Yep. It's already booked. <laughs> it's already booked. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. No, I, I've already had that that one in my head for a long time. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There you yeah, go. Yeah, it's so. it's on the podcast now. Yeah. 
Boski's 40th is going to be a roast. It's going to be a roast. It's going to be a roast fest. <laughs> Let me have it. Give, oh, all of give it. me all your roast. <laughs> <laughs> all his roast. Beef. I just want to sit there and laugh at myself. Like if he, if I can't laugh at myself, you know, your wife, saying? your wife has to roast you. Oh, her, oh, ner- her nervous ass will. Yeah, she'll probably let me have it. No, we got to give her some liquid courage. She's got to get up on G- the mic. Yeah, give her the first round, and then like if there's any like females that come with their like husbands or boyfriends or whatever, they'll be like, "Yeah, that's right. You tell them, girl." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, I, I can already see it. <laughs> All you want to do is play baseball. You hurt yourself every week. And there you go, imitating your wife again. <laughs> you can't walk on Mondays. <laughs> and you're always in the group chat. <laughs> there it is. There it is. I know you already had your Boski Roast Fest. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty good. No, but like, you guys see me too. Like, yeah, I, I know. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be group. I would I, love to partake. <laughs> Absolutely love to partake. Oh shit! No, yeah, definitely. Right. No, you guys definitely. Everybody can have a turn. Damn it! That's a poor choice of word. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! All that's right, funny. So, <clears throat> Southern California Firecracker Tournament, <laughs> eighteen wood rookie national. The Sunday League Daddies are in this one with the OC Charros, the Hitmen, and the Paramount Pirates. So, mm-hmm. Boski. Oh, you asked how we ended up in this. Oh, so signed up and. Uh, Got the email said uh, you are in rookie American and I'm just like no I don't want to be in a rookie American I heard that that's the worst division now why is that I, that's just what I heard oh, okay that's just I got from reliable know, sources uh, from tournament experienced sources okay. but at the same time like if you think about it like if you're a rookie American like you don't know what you're getting mm. who knows what's gonna show up but I did say I was like look man I got some uh, experienced tournament players on the squad. Uh, if there's any way you could put us in the national, uh, please consider us, you know, and then a couple days later, please enter your roster for rookie national 18. I'm just like, all right, let's fucking go. And then I look at the pool and I'm like, God damn it. There's only four teams. Yep. (laughs) There's only four teams and there's five in the rookie American. Yeah. I just, I like the idea of more teams in a pool because it, you can't really sandbag it, Mm -hmm. but then the way they set this one up. Uh, bracket wise, I still can't sandbag it. So, no, nope. yep. that's right. All right. So, so OC Charros. Without further ado, yeah, OC mm. Charros, uh, OC RBL, OC Charros. Is that right? Correct. Okay. Correct. Have you seen them before? I've o- I've only seen them um the Aventureros YouTube channel. Okay. Yeah. So I have I have seen them, but I've only seen them through there, and then just like <coughs> random videos on Instagram. Can't take them lightly. No. Not How at about all. the Hitman? What do you know about the Hitman? Um. The Hitman has like a combination of players from the SoCal Cardinals. Okay, okay, uh-huh. from that one, that from that one league. Yeah, from that one league, and then a couple of the Moonshots players, and they're from uh, the OC uh, OC Moonshots, formerly of that SoCal league, and, MSBL. and now they're SoCal MSBL. Gotcha. Um, and then there's us. Yep. Um, and, and then, then Paramount Pirates. I don't know too much, too much about them. Um, I know that they had two teams. Recently in the in the Vegas, they had a team in the Rookie American, which they won. And then they had a team in the Open, which they didn't do as well. We better be careful with them. They're the number one ranked team in the NABA National Tournament <laughs> team rankings. Interesting. Yeah, well. So you can't take them lightly either, my friend. Well, no. I mean, I think like looking at all these teams, I, I can't I can't take any of them lightly. So I got to I got to plan accordingly, you know. Yeah. And like I just I honestly don't you don't know what's what's coming out. You just don't. No. You know, and they they don't really know. They're like the Sunday League daddies. Who the fuck are these idiots? And well, they'd know if they listen to the podcast. Damn right. Yeah. No, you do not know what's coming out. Mm-hmm. Just kind of like after eating Taco Bell. And <laughs> so when you go into uh, the eight, 18- how long have you been sitting on that joke? Goddamn. <laughs> That's funny. so. Um, eighteen would open. We can start there with these teams here. You got Tijuana. Uh-huh. You got Toros, <laughs> which the Toros are from RBL. Is RBL that, is that right? That's okay. correct. Yes. And then you got the platoon. Yep. Everybody knows who the platoon are. Mm-hmm. And you've also got the serpientes, mm-hmm. which is that the Norwalk serpientes? No, that is the tournament team serpientes. Ah, yeah. Okay, so that's okay. a that's like a mix of the players that play like on the terror, the SoCal terror. Uh, okay. The, the peloteros. I'm on the. I, I'm. I'm wearing a pel- my peloteros jersey. I almost said peloteros today. I almost said I'm on the peloteros, Dumbo. <laughs> um, I'm not. I just I got the number five jersey. So yeah, you know, that's good if there's ever an opportunity, like maybe, hmm. maybe you know, just to for fun. Um, but yeah, they're uh, they usually do their local team is the Serpientes, but they're when they travel out, they go to Arizona or wherever. 
uh, Vegas. Uh, they're the they're the terror. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. All right. So Serpientes are in there, and the SoCal Royals. Mm-hmm. Okay. Everybody knows about the SoCal uh, Royals. The FBL. Yes. So you got the Sunday League ranked number one and number two teams mm-hmm. in the eighteen wood open. Correct. So. It, it's looking like a pretty stacked division. I like this division a lot. It's, it's it, looking pretty stacked. It, you, you you can pick any one of these teams. Absolutely, yeah. and we're going to. By the way, all right. I know. I'm, I know how I'm gonna pick. So, 18 Wood Opens pretty stacked. 18 Wood American. You're gonna have SoCal Tropics. Mm-hmm. Okay, that, we the FBL Tropics. That is correct. All right. Um, they, I'm surprised they're not going as the goats, right? Yeah, I think um, they, they wore their goats jerseys today, and I was like, okay, well maybe. And then, uh, but now I guess not. They're registered as tropics. So, all right, fair enough. They are who they are. The SoCal Sharks from mm-hmm. Scabble, old Scabble, OG Scabble, the only Scabble, the only Scabble. Yes, that is correct. SoCal Sharks going in um, to the 18 Wood Rookie American, and then the Mud Boys. I don't know who they are. No clue. Mud Boys. I mean, it's. I'm not. I don't know. Okay. No idea. SGV Tribe. SGV Tribe. They San Gabriel Valley. San Gabriel Valley Tribe, and then uh, fuck, yeah, that's that's um, that's a mix of like the Yakis. Well, I met them in Arizona. All right, yeah. So shout out Gibby. Gibby's the manager over there. What up, Gibby? Gibby, Gibby. you would like Gibby? He's really cool. Yeah, yeah, real cool dude. I would love yeah. Gibby. Yeah, and yeah. SGV Baseball. Yeah, I think that's like a mix of the same guys. All right, yeah, very nice. So five teams in the eighteen Wood Rookie American. What I like about this division, <coughs> and also the eighteen Open, um. With the five teams, uh, the way they set it up, they're going to play uh, – every team is going to play each other. So that's four games total for each team. Um, the top two, championship. So you're talking about pool play. Pool every play. team plays each other. Every team plays each other, but they're guaranteed their four games at that point. No, I got Which you. is kind of cool. And then for us, with our four our four teams, we all play each other once. And then the, the top team goes straight to the championship. And then the two and three seed uh, play, ah. play in the semi. And then that winner plays in championship, obviously. And then the four seed is out. Interesting. So they kept it to where you can't really sandbag it. Yeah. Like you got to compete for your for your seed. Yeah, absolutely. You know? you know, not every team makes the makes bracket play. No, no, no. no. And I think that's to me that's been an issue in the past. Mm. In, in some of the past tournaments I've seen, for example, um, in Arizona when we for with the Mets. Uh, for the World Series, uh, everybody made the bracket. Mm -hmm. And I was like, "Ah, well, we can literally sandbag it. Uh, But nobody wanted... uh, For me, the way I looked at it, I'm like, well, if we're the one seed or the bottom seed, the schedule looks shitty like in bracket play because you'll play like at 8.30 and then you'll play at 8.30 again. And it's just like the way it was set up, I was like, no, like any other seed is fine. I said one or eight Mm -hmm. or one or... Yeah, one or nine or whatever the last seed was. Yeah. And so in the 18 Wood Rookie National, like you said, the uh, three out of the four teams will make bracket, and you don't want – you just basically don't want to come in last yeah, during pool last. play. You don't, don't want to come in last. Mm-hmm. And your schedule is out already. Correct. Uh, your first day, which is on Friday, July 5th, mm-hmm. you will be playing at 12 o'clock noon yes. on York Field. York Field, that is, I believe, in Whittier. Okay. Something like that. All right. York Field, and then on Saturday, it looks like you guys have a doubleheader. First game, 12 o'clock at Legacy High School versus O.C. Charles. Confirmed York Field is in Whittier. Very nice. And then the other one was Legacy. Legacy High School. That is in Southgate. Southgate. And right after that game, you are going to play another game against the Hitmen. Mm -hmm. So 12 o'clock and 3.30, doubleheader on Saturday. And then on Sunday is going to be bracket play. Bracket play, yeah. Hoping Mm -hmm. that, that we actually make it. So. And there you go. So 8.30 would be the first bracket play game on Sunday, July 7th. Montebello High School. Followed by a winner-take-all championship game at 3.30. Mm-hmm. At the Glen Doyle. Glen Doyle. <laughs> Glen Doyle. Come on, Bozeman. Glen Doyle. What's in that water canteen right there? It's literally water of the uh, Glendale Sports Complex. Yeah, I- I'm not familiar with that place. That's the YouTube field. Explain. Uh, you see that field on YouTube all the time. With the content creators, oh, such as the uh, the um, the Valley Boys, Valley Boys, Stephen Kinez. I've seen um, I've uh, the fucking Anthony dude, Bowen, the, the Anthony Bowens, uh, the dude from Arizona, uh, fucking oh, uh, Ju- Ju- King, King of Juco, Juco. yeah. Um, oh, fuck, I forgot his name. Eric Sim. Have you played there before? I have never played there before. Okay. Never ever in my life. 
Uh, right. Something to I look forward to. Could have played a doubleheader there, but uh, something happened to where they uh, switched up the schedule because somebody wasn't happy about it. Oh, yeah. I'm not gonna throw any jabs. Okay. I've thrown. I've thrown my jabs. Okay. Yeah. All right. Very nice. Like you know what, young man. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. So. Now, okay. one, one, two, one, two, uh, I wasn't too happy about it, but at the same time, like, uh, we would have had to buy molded cleats or like buy some, uh, some turf, some dedicated turf because they're all, it's an all turf field. Mm. You don't want to tear up the turfs with metal cleats. Correct. Got so. you. It's just dumb. Fair enough. All right. So, so let's tear it up with rubber cleats. Forty five fifty wood division. They have six teams. The Diamond Classics, the LA Cerveceros, the Bakersfield Heat, SoCal Indians, Stick Sports. In Shy Cal Baseball. Okay. Shy Cal Baseball. Yeah. Um, I don't really know any of these teams, if I'm being honest. Neither I. Yeah. But let's go ahead and drop some predictions, Boski. Right. Who do you think is going to take the 18 open? Oh. <laughs> this is the one everybody's ears just perked up. Um, who do I want to win or who am I picking? Who are you picking? Who am I picking? Um... I'm feeling very Haiti right now. Oh, big hater. Oh, oh, oh. You're gonna give somebody some, a chip on their shoulder to play with. Yes, yes, I am. And uh, but uh, let's go to Pentes, man. They they're on a hot streak right now. Okay, they're on a tournament hot streak. So uh, I'm gonna. That's my choice. All right. Yeah. Fair enough, Boski. So, so platoon Royals Toros Tijuana, prove me wrong. All right, so you're going Serpientes, yeah. and now I, I got a lecture from uh, the Bob Father during episode 200. You got a lecture. Okay. I got a le- not really a lecture, but he's like, you know, why are you guys never picking the Royals? <laughs> you guys never picking the Royals. I'm like, well, look how it's worked out for you guys. Yeah. You guys keep on winning. Okay. All right, well, this time oh. I'm picking the Royals. I'm picking the Royals. Now they're not going to win. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> so if they don't win, they can blame me this time. I'm going Royals. There you go. Yeah. All right. Okay, so fair enough. Let's go. Damn, ahead. Platoon's like, oh, hell no. They're taking their earrings <laughs> off right now. Hold my poodle. Like, yeah, I, I already know. The baseball gods are going to take care of them. I love it. I love it. Okay, 18, <laughs> love, man. Eight, love. 18 American. The American. Oh, You got geez. Tropic Sharks, Mud Boys, Tribe, and SGV Baseball. Do you want to pick first? I'll let you pick yeah, first. Yeah, I'll go Sharks. <laughs> why are you laughing, dog? Because I don't know why you didn't pick the Tropics. <laughs> I'll tell you the Tropics, dude. Easy. That's an easy pick for me. The tropics are going to beat themselves. You think so? Ooh. Okay. All right. I'm I'll just fucking around. John's going to hate me for that. <laughs> he's going to show you his John's fucking... Gonna, he's going to show me his longest yard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Slap me in the face with it. God damn. I'm from the field that, <laughs> that they're going to be playing at. <laughs> Who are you going with? Uh, tropics. Okay, Tropics. All right. Tropics, yeah. Fair enough. Let's go 18 National, Boski. <laughs> you pick the daddies? Uh, I don't like to pick in team in brackets that I'm in. Okay. So I don't okay, like. So you're to gonna that. bypass that? Yeah. All yeah. Right. I don't. I don't. That's just no. I'm not picking. All right. Well, you know, it seems to work out pretty well having a chip on your shoulder. <laughs> okay. So I'm going Paramount Pirates. All right. That's a, that's a good pick, man. It's a good pick. Honestly, I think any one of these is a good pick. Mm, I'm going Pirates. Okay. All right. Now Fair let's enough. go. Forty-five fifty wood. Uh huh. You got that list in front of you? Yeah, give me the heat. I'm going the ba- heat. Bakersfield heat. Yeah. Okay. I don't think anything good comes out of Bakersfield. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, man. I don't. <laughs> only heat. <laughs> only heat. Oh uh, shit. Let's go. Uh, stick sports. <laughs> <laughs> See, it doesn't even like sound um, enticing to to pick. Like, exactly. Well, oh, that's what I'm going geez. with. I'm going sticks. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so um, the SoCal, the SoCal Firecracker is not the only tournament that's going on this weekend. We also have the North California, Northern California Firecracker tournament. Okay. And um, there's only one division, 18 wood. And they've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten teams in this division. And they've got the top four making bracket play. And uh, the teams are going to be the Lumberjacks, the Phillies, the Muffins. I know, I know where the boat is going. Uh, Diamondbacks, the Say Hey Kids. Say Hey, okay. The Navigators, the Broncos, the Redwoods, the Brew Crew, and the Yankees. The Navigators got absolutely fucking smoked by Platoon in uh, in Vegas. All right. Murdered. All right. Well, Murdered. There you go. That's That takes them off your list, probably. And uh, I know the Yankees are probably not on your list. Definitely not. Um. Okay, let me see. Fuck it, give me the Navigators. Really? Emphasis on Gators. Are you serious? Yep, give me the Gators. The All Navigators. Right. I didn't I didn't I did not <laughs> expect that. Yeah. I think um I think getting their asses handed to them 
would have humbled them. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I'm taking them. All right. Um, I thought you were going to go muffins for sure. I was going to initially, and then I saw the navigators, and I'm like, okay. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to go say hey, kids. Shout out to, by the way, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Shout out to Willie Mays, who unfortunately passed away (laughs) uh, right before the Rickwood Field game. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Right before. That's crazy. Yeah, the Rickwood Field game is... DH for those that was that MLB. Don't know. That was a uh, uh, was it that last week right before we had episode two hundred. Yeah. I don't even think we mentioned it during episode. 200, we did not. Unfortunately, no. we were a little caught up on other things. But yeah. the Rickwood Field game, uh, MLB oldest stadium or oldest ballpark in in, in all, America. Yeah, of all time. And <clears throat> you know Willie Mays put out a statement said you know with his condition he's not able to to be there but he'll mm-hmm. be watching from home. And turns out he was able to be there. Oh, he was able to show. Well, spiritually, you know what I mean? Okay, my bad. I'm just like, that's what I'm saying. Like, (laughs) I'm in the middle of yawning over here. Turns out he was able to be there. He was able to be all over the field. Yeah. So, um, just just crazy, crazy, crazy how it all went down. So, and Orlando Cepeda also went. That's another one. Also passed away recently. That sucks, man. I mean, we're getting getting at that age where where the the old timers are. Yeah, man. And I, and I remember watching like some of these guys that, that played in like the, they, I think they played like in a like old timers game or something. Mm-hmm. They had a game before the actual MLB game. Oh, okay. Griffey was on the field, all grayed out with his yeah. with his gray hair. That's just crazy, dude. It's crazy, dude. It's that like, blew my mind. Like, like I used to play his video game. Yeah, <laughs> still I still play it. And like, yeah. holy cow, dude, that shit just yeah. yeah, that hit hard. Yeah, no, no, um, definitely. It's a it's a bit of a reality check for sure. For sure, dude. For sure. All right. Um. So I got I got to say hey for uh, the North California Firecracker Tournament. Okay. Navigators. Um, let's see what we got next. Um, the the New York one. Hold on, I'm sorry. I, I clicked on something that I wasn't supposed to click on as it took me somewhere else, and now Conyo. I'm lost. Uh-huh. Uh, okay, which one do you want to go to? The Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame tournament in Cooperstown, New York. Join going down July 5th through July 7th. And um, this one has... Two divisions. Ooh, okay. Oh, you're going to have 18 wood division, and you're going to have a 25 wood. Okay. 18 wood is going to have the New York Blazers, East Coast Blaze, Syracuse MSBL Orangemen, <laughs> the Sea Warren Mariners. Oh, yeah, I, boy. Uh, mm, okay. And the Lighthouse Stars. Okay. That's some interesting names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I know who I'm going to pick. All right. Who, you want me to go first? You go first. I think I have an idea. Yeah, you do, but I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to go with Lighthouse Stars. The Lighthouse Stars, why? Just because I don't want to be so predictable. Gotcha. Um, well, I'm going to be predictable, and I'm going to go with the Naranjeros, the Orange Men. All right. You know, I just, yeah, Orange Men. Because anything out of New York, don't care. Uh, East Coast, eh. But yeah. Well, have you been to the East Coast before? Have you ever been to New York? Never in my Boston? life. I've never been past El Paso, bro. So. <laughs> <laughs> For real? Yeah, I swear to God. Florida, never been to Florida? Never. Never. Right. You would think maybe like growing up, I'd play like in a Florida tournament. No, I bet, but I've been as far as Venezuela. Like, that's the weird part. We got to get you to Fenway one day. We got to make one it happen. One day, bro. One day. You got to make it happen. All right. All right. Um, in the 25 wood division, you're going to have four teams the New Jersey Devils, Long Meadow Cardinals, Ontario Pirates, and Virginia Revolution. Okay, let's see. Uh, I'll, I'll pick the first one. Uh, fuck it. Ontario Pirates. Oh, you took that one. Coño, sorry. I got you. It's all right. Uh, let's go Virginia Revolution. Okay. I'm going right. with OP. You're going with VR. Which, you know, for added context, we know nothing about these teams. <laughs> We're just going to see what happens. <laughs> they could very well be the worst of the worst, and we wouldn't know. Yeah. So No um, clue. Very very well. Had all I right. seen the Howell Indians, though, in here? Oh, would, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have picked the Howell Indians Absolutely. for sure. We know about them. Yes. All right, and then the last one here going down this weekend is going to be in Denver, Colorado. The, the Danny G. Fujita, I guess. How yeah. would you say it, Boski? I would say Fujita. Fujita Senior Memorial Mile High Classic Tournament. That's a mouthful. That's what she said. <laughs> Mile High, mouthful, got it. Mm-hmm. And there's three divisions in this one. In the 18 Wood American, there's four teams. <laughs> oh, I know who I'm picking. The Omaha Yards. <laughs> 
<laughs> I see it. I yeah, see it. I know who I'm picking. Omaha Yard Goats, Mountain Range Menace, the Denver Wildcats, and the Omaha Dairy Daddies. It's Dairy Daddies, dude. <laughs> Give me the ODDs. Wow. The, <laughs> the O-double-Ds. The Omaha Dairy Daddies. That's oh, perfect. That, like, you can't make this up. Oh, no, you really can't. Oh, yeah. The Omaha Dairy Daddies. Let me see. Do they have their roster? Oh, all right. Like, are, oh yeah, they do. They have a sure roster. do. So small let's, roster. Let's shout out these guys here on the Dairy Daddies. Lee Wilson, <laughs> shout out to you. Yo, I hope you. I hope you're dad. Greg Hauser, Dan Rogers, mm-hmm. Chris Monaghan, Monaghan or Monaghan. Okay. Rob Grinnell, Brandon Lover, Nate Sicola, mm-hmm. Colby Roten, Lyle Roten, and Dalton Roten. Okay. Brothers, let's go. A lot of Rotens in there. Ted Raven. Dalton Powell, Mitch Baker, Owen Viano, and Kyle Dixon. Mm. Shout out to the Dairy Daddies. <laughs> dairy Daddies, let's go. <laughs> Shooting that milk. <laughs> Open wide, baby. Oh my <laughs> Got God. that milk for your mouth. You got that milk for your mouth. <laughs> oh, Who shit. You take it? Who you I'm take going it? Mountain Range Menace. <laughs> Mountain Range. You know, at first, that's that one caught my eye. Yeah. And then, then we got to the daddies. I'm like, oh, yeah, no. Well, you, you can't. I can't not pick that. You can't not. I'm not going to pick my team, but I'm going to pick that team. <laughs> I like that. Oh, I see a team here. 18 like. National. We got Las Vegas Mastiffs, the Vipers, mm-hmm. the Night Train, and the Denver Drillers. Ooh. Uh, let's go Let's go Mastiffs. Uh, okay. They, yeah. I've seen that team before. Yeah, we played them. We played them in Arizona. Oh, really? Yeah. All right. Yeah, so we'll take them. I'm going night train. The night train is go. Take a ride on the. No, it's rolling on the night train. <laughs> that that so, guy. That's Guns N' Roses. It's a, okay. It's a group. Axel Rose. And 4550 Wood. Oh. You're going to have the Denver Bears, the Predators, the John Elway Dealership 50s, <laughs> and the John Elway Dealership 45s. Oh, Jesus Christ. I would hate this, this pull. That's <laughs> dumb. Who are you going with? Um, I, I'm going to go with one of the John Elways. Let's go with the 45s. <laughs> Give me the 50s. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. All right. I'm going John Elway 45s. You're going with the 50s. Yeah. Well, which John Elway dealership are we talking about? Is this the one here in Ontario? Uh, I'm prob- I'm going to guess they got to be in Colorado. John Elway's crown Toyota. They got to be out there. Bought our, we bought our most recent car there. Oh, for real? Yeah, nice. Shout out John Elway. <laughs> John Elway for selling us a car. <laughs> yeah, he personally walked out and was like, hello, guys. So he's like, you're Bosky from Sunday League Podcast? I've heard of you now. That'd he's be like, wild. He's like, here, you want to take a test drive? Okay, you can only drive it for two minutes. That's all I need. <laughs> two <laughs> two minutes. Football reference. Two minute drive. Uh, uh, see, see, I, uh, that's how you know that I'm just like not in tune with that. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I, I do understand the reference. Now. All right, excellent. All right, um, so those are those are going to be our <laughs> tournament predictions for all of the NABA tournaments coming up this, this weekend. weekend. I like it. I like that it's kind of nationwide. So that's cool. Do you know if uh, MSBL's got any tournaments this weekend? I do not. Um, uh, let me take a look real no quick. Clue. MSBL national tournament calendar. You're going to have. Mm, no, actually, the next tournament is going to be Beat the Heat in Irvine. In Irvine, okay. I, I, I know some of the teams that are going to be. Yeah, that's going to be August 30th there. through September 2nd Okay. at Irvine Great Park. I know the Moonshots are there, the OC Rays are there, and the Yard Goats hmm. are going to be there. I can't think of anyone else off the top of my head. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's prob- the teams are probably listed on there. All right. So we got those predictions in. Um, we do want to spend some time shouting out some of the more recent champs that have been crowned in the Sunday League. Sunday League champs. Let's go. Um, let's start with the RBL. The Ramirez Baseball League recently had game two of their championship mm-hmm. today. Yep. And that went to the G Diablo. The G Diablo. <laughs> my bad, my bad, my bad. G Braves. The G Braves, the Brave Devils. <laughs> Shout out to the G Braves coming back from the grave, I should say, because Pretty last much, huh? season in RBL, last season, Absolutely they came in dead. Dead last. <laughs> Dead last, yeah, last out, season. Shout they out were, to them for uh, putting in the work. Put this into perspective here for a second. They went 1-12-1 and one Oof, last brutal. season. Mm-hmm. 46 runs scored, which averaged out to 3.3 runs per game. Wild. And they allowed 113 runs, which is about 8.1 per game. Mm-hmm. Dead last. Nowhere near the power rankings. Right? right? And here they are now winning the championship in RBL. Yep. Right? Now... One could argue that it couldn't have been done 
without the dismantling of Diablo's TD mm -hmm. because the Diablo's team did not come back as Diablo's. Yeah. However, G Braves inherited some of those players, if I'm not mistaken. That is uh, correct. And the Diablo's TD, they ended up coming in first place that last season at 10, 2, and 2. Yep. And they won it. And mm, they did. Yeah. They, they won, did. They won it last time. They beat the Toros, which came in at 11 and 3 mm -hmm. last season yep. and came in second. And now here they are. Here they are winning the RBL championship in 2024. So shout out to the G Braves um, for winning it. Um, you know, they, they did what they had to do to, to get talent yeah, and to change the narrative of their team. So that's dope. Shout out to them, man. Congrats they did to it. them. They did it. And now they get to be the champs. So mm -hmm. um, moving on to FBL. Yep. FBL, we didn't shout them out last episode because we were caught up in episode 200, which that took place correct. last Friday. Yep. But, um, you know, one could have assumed that they were going to do it anyway because they were already up one game to none. And it's hard. It's almost impossible to beat the Royals two yeah, times in a in row. In the playoffs, especially. <laughs> two times in a row. And so they go out and do it. They win championship number 11. Mm -hmm. um, Which we were corrected. Yeah, we were corrected. I said episode <laughs> 10. I mean, um, uh, championship number 10 uh, yeah. last episode. So congratulations to them. Mm -hmm. Championship number 11. Back yeah. to back. Is it back to back to back? Uh yeah, uh, uh that's a three peat. I think that's their their second three peat. Let me see in their history, and then um, uh, yeah, that's right. And I think it's the third three peat in the history of the league. Back to back to back championship for the Royals. They beat the Fontana Marlins, and then the season before they beat the Hammered Heads. Season mm -hmm. before they beat the the Pride, aka IE Regulators. Mm -hmm. So uh, shout out to the SoCal Royals champs once again. The Bob Father doing, doing the, the damn thing. work. Yep. Um, I haven't seen him out on the field because I haven't been to very many games, but I heard that he's been out there every single every yeah. single week. Yeah, Bob Father's back at it, yeah. doing it again. Yeah, so. he's doing his thing, man. Shout out to the Bob Father for sure. Yep. Um, North County MSBL also had their championship uh, last weekend, if I'm not mistaken, and you have the Clout uh, coming back again as champs in the NC MSBL National Division. Yeah. And tier ones going on winning the championship for NC NCMSBL American Division. Do you know who the tier ones beat? I do not. I don't either. No clue. I don't either. Once they're like their website is hard to uh, is kind of hard to decipher because mm -hmm. once it gets to the playoffs, like everything changes scores and everything. It's uh, hard to it's that, hard to see everything all at once. That's whack. So, but shout out to those teams out there doing the work down in North County, which is just a little bit north of San Diego. Yeah. And not to be confused with um what's uh, so dabble <laughs> yeah absolutely not so dabble not to be confused with the dabble or uh swabble the southwest swabble, adult yeah. baseball league that's still in the ie though yeah 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 it's still out there in the ie good old-fashioned ie lowest part of the ie if you will yes and everybody else uh still in their regular seasons you know you mm -hmm. i don't want to go through all the leagues i don't have all the scores yeah uh we're not going to do that today not today man fuck not that today. shit yeah, but I that was a I think the it's a dabble point Loma Point Loma Pirates beat the walk ons today, two nothing. Mm. Um I think that's the only score I got. I think the Threshers lost. I'm not sure. God damn it. Mm. I, I'm not even gonna try. That's all right. We'll <laughs> I'm not gonna try to remember. <laughs> we'll update everything uh before the next power yeah. rankings come out. Yeah, we'll be good. Well, anyway, Boski, that's all I got. Uh, what you got? Anything else? <laughs> there's there's a there's stuff that I don't really want to get into, but I mean, I kind of want to talk about more about 200. Yeah, right. Absolutely. I mean, there was there was a lot of people that that showed up. Uh, a lot of people that didn't, mm. unfortunately. Uh, they fucking missed out, dude. <laughs> Literally had free fucking alcohol. It was a great time, man. God damn it. The keg, uh, the keg went out. The keg was gone. The keg was gone. We fucking smashed it. Uh, Cali Creamin was <laughs> fire. Mm -hmm. um, shout out to uh, to little Mario from Washed Up. Yeah. Uh, he fucking gave he he brought a like a signed jersey, and everything, and he, was, he wrote for the fucking culture on it. He, he just wrote for the culture. I don't want to say he, that he wrote for the fucking culture. Mm. So shout out to him. He unfortunately uh, he got suspended from the league he plays in. Mm. Currently suspended for I guess the remainder of the season. There was some fucking bullshit that happened over there. Um, I don't really want to dive too much into it because. Yeah, I think there's just a lot of um, misconceptions, mm -hmm. you know, when it comes to, you know, that specific league in general. Yeah. 
You know, we're talking about South Coast. Anytime we're talking about yeah. that one league, we're talking about South Coast. There's a lot of misconceptions in there as far as what the culture is all about, that oh, kind of yeah. thing. Um, <laughs> yeah. People that listen to the podcast, that actually listen to the podcast, no, what's understand. Up. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I don't think that we in any way condone drinking on the field. <laughs> no, at all. not at all. I but, don't fucking drink on the field, dude. I don't drink in the dugout. I don't, I don't drink till I get home. I but, don't think I've ever had a drink no. on a baseball field Same. in my life. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, maybe <laughs> playing softball at big league <laughs> drinks. Yeah. Where it's condoned, yeah. Um, you know, where it's a, where it's um, it's uh, it, it's condoned, but it's like it's in uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They like it's they, allowed. It's, they want you to do it. Oh yeah, it's mm. um, it's uh, how would you say encouraged? It's encouraged. That's the word. It's I'm encouraged. For. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if they allow you to bring it into the dugout, but shit, uh-huh. you can go. You can just walk up to the bar, walk up quick. the stairs, go. Yeah, go yeah. get a pitcher. Yeah, you know, and drink it. You know, they don't they don't say shit. That's, that's I'm sure you can what bring, I'm sure you can bring that shit in the right. dugout. There's there's people that. You know, we'll drink during games, and that's mm-hmm. what it is. But that's not yeah. what the culture is all about. No, definitely you know? not, dude. I think we talk about a lot how we respect the people that grind it out Monday through Saturday. Yeah. Whatever your day job is, mm-hmm. whatever it is that you do for a living, whatever you do to put food on the table and provide for your family, yeah. you should be able to go out there on a Sunday and ball out as best as you can with your homies. And that's yeah. what the culture is all about, man. Th- that thousand percent, bro. And like at the end of the day. It is not about parties on the field. It's not that. God damn it. No. Especially if it's at schools. It's like, do you think we're fucking retarded? No, we're not fucking retarded. If we get a school fucking lost for us, that means we can't fucking play. Exactly. God damn it. Like, we're not fucking retards. Jesus Christ. Exactly. And Boski will be the first one to, like, tell people that are in the parking lot, man, fucking go smoke across the street. No fucking bullshit. Like, there was a team one year that they were smoking, like, on the field, and the league president came or some shit, and he saw them, and he was like, yeah, you guys are suspended next week, your whole team. So they had to forfeit. Yeah. It's yeah. like, like it's a fucking school, dude. And, like, people, obviously people still do it, but they're very low-key about it. They clean up after themselves, and that's it. You know, some of the shit that you actually see, like, We'd be resharing shit on Instagram. These motherfuckers are at parks drinking. Like, that's fucking allowed. Yeah, that's shit you can do. Mm -hmm. Um, That's part, especially, like, in the Mexican leagues, bro, like what we call Mexican leagues. um, That's norm. That's normal as fuck. It's it's literally their culture. Mm -hmm. It's part of their culture. It's part of what they do. Like, that's what they do to go relax and shit. And it's the same thing, like, in soccer, like, Sunday League soccer. They do the same fucking thing. You know, and nobody bats a goddamn eye. It's at a park. Like, what are we doing? Yeah. It's like going to the beach and having, like, your beers or whatever the fuck. Yeah. I mean, I think, the you know, what the culture is, it it can be misinterpreted by certain individuals. Mm Mm-hmm. And it's unfortunate, you know. It's For certain individuals out there, wallets hurting. I'm fucking sorry that I gotta go to work for forty hours a goddamn week. I don't give a fuck about people's money, dog. I've said it a million times, and I'll say it again. Your money's your money. Go make your money, but have some goddamn integrity. And if you gotta show up to work every fucking day for forty hours a week or whatever, then that's what you gotta do, man. Yeah. If you gotta put in sixty hours a week just because that's how your job is set up, you work construction, all that bullshit. You gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, you know. But I get it, man. Somebody starts fucking with your money. I get it. Yeah. I get but, it. you know, the, the great thing about all these different leagues that we have out here in SoCal, which, by the way, we rank based on the Power League, Power League uh, Sunday League Power Rankings, we rank 19 different leagues mm-hmm. just here in Southern California. Yeah. So I respect the and fact that all these leagues have a way for these guys to get together and play ball with their homies. Yeah. And there's an avenue you know, for you to yeah. go out there and ball out. And there's, but le- bro, there's ways to do it. There's leagues. There's right ways to do there's it. There's leagues we don't even talk about. Bro. Nah, there's leagues. Sure. There, as a matter of fact, there's a league that came across my plate the other day, and I was just like, I had no idea this league existed. Uh, Hawaiian Gardens Baseball League. What? <laughs> Hawaiian Gardens. Ba- it's, it's right here. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, Hawaiian, for real? Where Hawaiian Gardens is at. It's like. I don't even know where that is. That's, um, that's OC, dude. It's like. Uh, uh, fucking what's the? It's like like just pa- it's around Norwalk, like around like like passing knots and all that yeah. shit. Like it's like roughly over there. That That's area. wild, man. You know, and and our ultimate goal is to definitely connect all the dots, not just here in SoCal, yeah. but all For around. Sure. Connect all the dots. Yeah. That's what the culture is about, man. You know, yeah. these bush leaguers. We 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 say it affectionately. You know, because yeah, none of us are pros. Fucking bush leaguers, dog. Like I've said, like you you said, we say it affectionately. I, it's a term, of, a term of endearment for me. None of us are pros, yeah. or if we were pros, we're not anymore. Yeah. There's different ways that you can put food exactly. on the table. 
And we're out here grinding it out for the fucking culture. For the fucking culture. Every week, consistency is king, DA. That's it. It always has been. It always will be. So, yeah, man. You know, it is what it is, though. We're going to keep grinding it out. We're going to keep doing our thing yeah. for the culture. Yep. And if you ain't for the folk, for the fucking for the for, If you ain't for the fucking culture, then fuck you, <laughs> bitch-ass motherfuckers. Yeah, they know who they are. That's a little too far. No, nah, Bos- <laughs> nah, fuck no. Boski said it. Don't give a fuck. You know, but, all right, man. What but I ain't gonna got? say I ain't gonna say no names here. You know, what yeah, I'm saying? I got you. I got you. What uh, else you got? I ain't trying to get sued. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got nothing. So sorry, you ain't uh, gonna get nothing from me. You ain't got nothing else. I hope you got your umpire fees. Uh, the, pff, I always got my umpire fees, dog. Nah, Even boy. if I got a zealot, man, like we're adapting, bro. We gotta adapt now, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. Um, but that nah, yeah. boy, hopefully, you pay those umpire fees <laughs> yeah. to me one day. Uh, oh, God. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bosky, one no. day, one day you might be paying those to me. I'm going to just be like, I'm going to look at you like, really? Like, don't fuck this up, bro. <laughs> Please don't fuck this up. All bro. right. All right. Don't be, don't go, go don't go down looking. Dude, bro. when I, uh, before, we, before we end the, we, yeah, before we end the episode, uh, when I pulled my hammy, I walked, I, like, I kind of walked off the field. I was hobbling and uh, we had the, um, the, 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 the bin open. Mm-hmm. I went in the bin. I fucking smashed like three lockers, bro. Just like fuck, fuck, <laughs> fuck. And then uh, I, I may or may not have punched the 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 whiteboard, dented it. You might be paying for some damages. Um, fuck it, YOLO. Like that's like a donation to the school I played at. So whatever, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. You gotta break it before you replace it. <laughs> hey, dog. I mean, it's a. It, I, I'm gonna start calling it a tantrum room. Yeah. Okay. Not tantric sex room. No, tantrum room. The tantrum room. Yeah, I, I'm a tantrum thrower. Yeah. I don't. I've never had the chance to like go behind in an enclosed area and just throw a fit it, in baseball. I've never had the chance to do that. There you go. You well, know? hey, Lou, if you're listening, <laughs> Boski owes you some gear. Yeah. So today, Boski said it. Boski did it. <laughs> what else? What else? Boski uh, don't care. Boski said it. Did, did it. Don't care. Yeah. That's it. Whatever, dog. I mean, I care, but like, like if I gotta, you know. Yeah. If I gotta give back, then I'll give back. You Excellent. Know, write it off on my uh, my moral taxes. I love it. <laughs> Rens All right, motherfucker. Senor. All right. All well, right, well that's it for episode two on one. Yep. That's a wrap. Are we coming back next week? <sighs> Depends, man. Depends. I mean, I can probably do it. It's just going to be. We might have to do it on site. Uh, maybe. Maybe if it's, uh, if it's feasible. All right. If it's All right. Feasible, we'll yeah. work that out. We'll work that out for yeah. 202. Well, yeah. Stay tuned. Stay tuned for 202 because that's kind of TBD as far as when, where, and why. That's right. Yep. All right. On With that, that note, don't forget your own power fees. Five bucks. Catch you on the next one. Peace. As I punch the mic.